on Zoom or if you were here on Monday, you guys have to do it already, so we're gonna do it again today. Uh, you'll follow through with me and then if you're at home, same thing. Uh, you guys have done it as well or you'll get to do it today. Yeah, we got a little YouTube live stream back there. You can wave, hello, we'll be YouTube famous, <laughs> maybe. But uh, this will be our warm up, so we'll go ahead and we'll do it once together. I'll explain it to you guys a little bit and then you guys will try it on your own for about 30 seconds. You'll try and do it as many times as you can. Right, so the first thing, as you see, it's in order. The first one is a drag and drop, right? Everyone say that. Say drag and drop. Drag and drop. Good. And also, um, later on when you maybe, I don't know if they still do it, but it's similar to what's called a burpee. But with a burpee, you do a push-up. This one, you don't have to. So what you do first, you're going to go jump up in the air. Jump up as high as you can. Good. Hands go down on the ground. Feet go back. Like you're going to do a push-up. Then your feet come back up to your hands and then jump again. Good. And that'd be one drag and drop. Okay. So it's moving your whole body. What's up, Josh? Are you saying also do a push-up right after Yeah, when you're on the ground, you can do a push-up too. That makes it even stronger. But yeah. But you don't have to. If you really want to, you can. But yeah, so you do three of those drag and drops. You keep doing three in a row. Then from there, it's three flip kicks on each leg. So show me hands up one side. Go ahead, try and show me your best flip kick. Leave your foot up. And show me each of your part of your kick, your chamber kick and refill. Go three flip kicks. One, two, three. Pretty good. Good. I like how you guys are leaving your foot up. That's awesome. And then same thing on the other side. All right, this one will probably be a little bit harder so to your left. And make sure, yeah, you switch your arms. Because if you're kicking this way, you want to have your hands up blocking this way. Good, Diane. Show me three flip kicks this way. Go one, two, three. Good. Leaving your front leg up the whole time. So you do three flip kicks on each side, and then the last thing is going to be three jumping jacks. It's probably the easiest one. We all know how to do a jumping jack, right? So do three jumping jacks, trying to get your stomach on the way back down. Good, okay? So now, we're gonna go ahead and try that for 30 seconds. You guys are gonna try and do this as many times as you can, right? And they'll be here on the screen in case you get a little confused. Um, and I'll be walking around, trying to make sure that you guys are doing it really well, you have good kicks, all that good stuff. All right, so go ahead and get ready. Your three dragon drops, three flip kicks each leg, and three jumping jacks. Try your best. Get ready, 30 seconds, and go! So start with the dragon drops, go jump. Do it, flip back, try and jump up as high as you can. If you can touch the ceiling, I'll give you a new belt. All right, and as soon as you're done with the three, hands come up, right into your kicks. One, two, three, good Josh. Then the other side, switch. One, two, three, good. And three jumping jacks, there you go, good Josh. Good, then yeah, keep going better, there you go. And yeah, if you're at home, same thing. Try and follow along, 30 seconds. Try and do this as many, as many times as you can. Good, three foot kicks. Each leg, good. Try and keep your hands up. Keep your hands up, it'll help you keep your balance. Good, then right to the jumping jacks. Good for five, four, three, two, and freeze. Good. Okay, pretty good. Hopefully you got to go at least two times through the whole exercise, but that's gonna be our warm up of the week, right? So we'll get to do that uh, every day and try and get better at it as we go along, okay? So Hadi, go ahead and come on, come on in, Hadi. Show me good bow. And then Hadi, you're gonna be right over here. Stand right on that marker there. Perfect, good, okay. So that was our kick or our warm up of the week. Now we're going to move on to our kick challenge of the week. Okay, we're always going to have two of these things one that's more exercise, and the other one that's kind of more of a fun uh, trick thing that we'll do. All right, so this is our kick challenge of the week. All right, did you make sure it's looped? Perfect. Um, so, same thing we've got to do it before, but the cool thing about this one. Uh, is it actually has a kick that you guys haven't learned yet, yeah. which is a cool one because you get to jump up really high in the air. Okay, so here, let's try it together. So everyone, show me hands up. Take this, hands up. Okay, because they're all going forwards. So your first one is your snap kick. We all know how to do a snap kick. Show me snap kick one. Good, then your chicken kick. So you're jumping off one leg, kicking with the other leg. Chicken kick two. Better, good. Go a little better, buddy. Because remember, the main thing with your chicken kick is that it looks like you're kicking with one leg, but in reality, you're actually kicking with the other leg, okay? So that's your chicken kick. Try that one more time, hands up. Go chicken kick, two. So jump and kick. Good. Better, Diane, try it, honey. 
That's good. Yep, jump and then kick with the other leg. So you're actually jumping up in the air. Yeah, there you go. That's better. And then the last one is going to be your prop, pop front kick. Okay, so this one you're going to jump up in the air. So show me hands up again. You're going to go step one, two. And then you're kind of going down a little bit. Go super jump. And then as you jump, so that's the actual jump. As you jump, you throw your leg out there for your... It's like you're doing a snap kick in the air. Okay, a little better, Josh. Everyone try that kick. Your pop front better, buddy. So hands up. Go step one, two, jump, and kick. There you go, good. Okay, so that's your three kicks, your kick challenge. So back in your spots, let's try it, hands up. Same thing, 30 seconds, I'll be walking around. Try and get as high as you can for your jump kick especially. All right, so it's snap kick, chicken kick, pop front kick. All right, try all three of those kicks in a row. Get ready, hands up, and go! So good, yep, your snap kick first, chicken kick, and then jump up high, jump kick. Pretty good, Josh. Try and keep your hands up the entire time. It'll help you to keep your balance. Good, so keep going. Once you do it once, do it again. Keep going, Sam. Do it again. 30 seconds. Pretty good, Diane. Getting high up there. Good. And make sure. You, it may not seem like it, but the more you keep your hands up, the better your balance will be, as well as actually your face. I don't know. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, stick the landing. That's good. Good for five, four, three, two, and freeze. Good, back in your spots. Pretty good. So that's our kick challenge of the week as well. So we'll be doing these all week long, and then next week we'll have a different one for you guys. But the cool thing is, since uh, we're doing all this, you're actually getting to learn some new kicks, such as that pop front kick, where normally you wouldn't actually learn that until you're maybe a blue green belt. Okay, so you're getting to learn a advanced kick, which is kind of cool. But cool, so there's your little warm up there for today. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on um, really quickly. If you have a nunchuck, if you have a nunchuck, which I think is only Josh and Hadi. So Josh, I'm gonna have you put your nunchuck up here. And then Hadi, you can put your nunchuck right down behind you. Just to make it easy so you want to go too close to other people. But good. So, we're going to go ahead and warm you guys up first, or rather do some quick review of some of your self-defense stuff, and then we're going to get into a little bit more of your Kyogas, um, and then we're also going to go on to some of your bow stuff, because we're trying to teach you guys bow, which is pretty cool. Okay. So, first thing, a little bit of self-defense. So, last time on Monday, we got to learn our set of four, right, or at least perfect it. So, everyone's saying, Paul, let's try that first, and then we'll do our self-defense move with set of four in it okay so first thing you're gonna grab their head one the other arm up go step in elbow smash one good then turn to the back like you're running away go hammer fist two go ahead, try and look at them as you do it all right good then go big key eye back kick Aya. good then turn and check pretty good that's a little bit better good reset so just make sure the main thing I want to see after that back kick, try and step to the back so you're getting away from the back a little bit better. One more time, go grab, step elbow. Good. Turn hammer fist. Good. Oh, who's looking at themselves in the mirror? Good. Always look at your target. Back kick, big key. Ayo! Step to the back. Turn and check. A little bit better. Okay, reset. Good. Okay, so that's your set of four. I'm gonna do one of our self-defense moves that has set of four in it, all right? And then this might be new for you, uh, or you might have learned it in minis. We'll see. It might be familiar, but that's an easy one. So this is from self-defense set two, all right? It's your second move in self-defense set two called sumo. Say sumo. Sumo. Good, all right? So right now, Diane and Josh are my loudest ones. So. For sumo, this is a move that's protecting from somebody trying to either choke you or grab you. Okay, and we don't want either of those to happen. And it's actually your advanced spreading the wings. Okay, so it's if they already got you, you can't do spreading the wings, you would do sumo instead. Okay, so first thing, they're coming in, they're grabbing you. Show me both hands. Go clap up high. One, all right, that's called boxing the ears. I'm pushing a bunch of air into their head. All right, making them ah, all woozy and uh, 
Dizzy right here. Then elbows up high, hands together. Now you're gonna get their arms off you. Go drop down, for stance. Good, super strong. Yeah, you're knocking their hands off you. Hands open up. Good, you're gonna go double spear hand, hit them right in the neck. Hold on, Josh. Double spear hand right to the neck. Good, and then from here, you're gonna do your set of four. Go grab, step, elbow smash. Turn, hammer fist, back kick, and check. Good, I love what that is. And that's all of sumo. Let's try it one more time, you set. Josh, you had a question? Perfect, Savannah. When you, when you try to get you, do you have to do it faster? Yeah, okay. So with this move, like I was saying, it's an advanced spreading the wings. So if somebody's trying to grab you, ah! All right, if you catch them before they get you, then you can do spreading the wings. But if they already got you, they're already shaking you around, whatever, instead you would do sumo, okay? So it's different. It's just like how uh, later on, when you're about a green blue belt, you'll get to learn a move called dancer, which is an advanced escape from bear hug. Yeah, it has a silly name, right? But it's a cool move, all right? Quick. Yeah, so that's why we have two moves just in case. All right, but that's good, good questions. Okay, so let's try sumo one more time. So they're coming in and grabbing us. Go box the ears, one. Good, elbows up high. Go drop down, two. Oh. Good, who's in my best horse stance right now? Ooh, bending their, their knees, good Josh. Good, you guys all have pretty good horse stances. Hands open up, shoo. Go double spear hand, whoosh. Good, and then set of four, go grab. Step, elbow, turn, hammer fist, back kick, ay -ya. Turn, and check. Ooh, pretty good, however, I have a louder key eye than all of you guys. Are you guys gonna let me be louder than you? No, no, no. No, I'm saying no sensei. No sensei. Right, so you guys gotta be louder than me. There's four of you and only one of me. All right, so standing up tall. Good, last one, best one, sumo. I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. Get ready, go box the ears, one. Good, elbows up high. Drop down, horse stance, two. Good, oh, who's bending their knees super? Oh, you guys all have pretty good stances. Good class, good. Hands open up, double spear hand. Good, and then set up four, go grab, step, elbow smash, turn, hammer fist, back kick. Turn and check. A little bit better. That was better, key I guess. Good, say sumo. Sumo. Good, and reset. Good, and then make sure you're right back in your spot. Let's go over a little bit there. Good, all right. So, it's a fairly cool move and a fairly easy one. Um, that if, you're, you were, if you were ever a mini dragon, we might have taught you it there too. But uh, there's also a cool way, kind of a cool little way to say sumo as well. You might have learned it. Okay, here, we'll do it. Kind of like a fun little treat. So everyone's standing up tall. So do you guys know what a sumo wrestler is? In Japan, a sumo wrestler? No? Do you know what wrestling is? Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of. So a, sumo wrestlers, they're like uh, bigger wrestlers who instead of the whole like uh, dramatic throwing chairs at each other, stuff like that, Instead, uh, they'll kind of do like almost karate moves to throw each other and stuff. It's actually really entertaining. Uh, but the, one of the things that they do before they start a match, hold on Savannah, one of the things they do before they start a match is they'll do this. And this is what we kind of call for sumo. So everyone try this with me. So with one leg, you're gonna go, leg out, go yeah. Good, but you gotta make the sounds. Try one more time. If you make the sound, it's really funny. Good, so go one leg out, go Wah. Good, and then other leg out, go. Good, then hands go clap up high. Sumo! Good, and that's your kind of uh, fun little way to bow for sumo. Go ahead and stand back up. The sumo wrestlers, they'll actually do that before they start a match. All right, you had a question? I know a karate that I did, and I saw it in a match. You saw it? We threw it and then we throw it. Yeah, they're pretty intense. They'll throw each other and stuff. It's pretty funny, or it's pretty cool to watch too. Okay, but good. So that's a cool little self-defense move um, that we'll do for today. So good, so go ahead and standing up tall. Now let's go ahead, uh, before we'll go on to something to probably split you guys a little bit later, we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and learn a little bit yeah. of our bow staff stuff, okay? Do any of you guys have a bow staff with you? I think, yeah, Josh, you got one. If you wanna just go ahead and go back there and reach over, you can get it. And then for you three, let's go ahead.
grab it. And you guys don't need to have a bow staff really until you're about a blue belt when you actually start to learn the whole kata. Uh, but right now, you can just use the pool noodles as you're learning. Okay, but remember, okay, like Sensei was telling us on Monday, when you have your weapon, or even your pool noodle, you still gotta show me good focus, good respect, just like when we taught you guys a nunchuck. Okay, so everyone hold your bow pool noodle like this. Show me holding it. Good, okay. So, we worked on our full body whip on uh, Monday, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that another time here. So everyone's holding it out normally like this. Okay, yeah, I have to remember. Because for American bow form, once you learn that later, it switches. Okay, so holding it out here. So it's just like you're punching in the air, all right? You want to extend your arms out the way out. So show me right arm, go punch out one across your body. Good, and try your best. Don't go little here, because if you're trying to hit somebody, and you only go that much, you're not gonna hit them. So go all the way across your body and you're extending your arm like you're punching. Good, then go other side, go punch two. Go ahead and try and hold on to it this whole time. Your arm should never let go and you don't ever wanna switch your grip. Good, with your top hand, your left hand, bring it up to your shoulder. <laughs> you guys didn't see it. Good, and then bring it back down for four. Good. Pretty good. And then hands back out here. All right. So your goal should be to leave your hands just like this. Like if you watch my hands, they'll never stop being like this. They'll just twist around. Okay. I won't ever switch them. You'll learn that later on. But this is your traditional Japanese grip for bow jitsu, um, which is the way of fighting with the bow. Okay. So one more time, bow out. Good. So show me. Go cross one. Punch one. Good. Punch two. All the way across. Good. Up to your shoulder three. And then back down four. Good. Who thinks I can do that fast? Oh, we'll see. So you gotta try and go. One, two, three, four. Without stopping. So bow out. Let's try it. Bow out. Get ready. And go. One, two, three, four. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and the main thing I want you guys to remember when you have the pool noodle, try not to hold your hands super close together or super far apart, okay? It's almost like in the middle. So here, hold the bow out for me, All right? Yeah, that's a good distance, okay? Because if you hold it out too far, when you get your actual bow, it won't work out very well, All right? You'll be extending way too far. So you kind of got to find the happy medium. Look pretty good. Okay, so that's your body whip. Let's do it one more time. Then we'll do a, a fun little drill with that. So you guys will kind of get to, instead of hitting a bag or something, you'll get to hit something. So show me bow out. One more time, try it without me now. You ready? Body. Good, bang. yep, perfect. Good, so show me that whole thing. One, two, three, four. You ready? And go! One, two, three, four. Back down. Ready, good, good. Okay, so show me standing up tall, bow or pull me out your side, make sure it's showing me good focus. Okay, so let's see here. So we have four of you guys. So let's go ahead and do, okay, so Hadi, or actually Savannah, go ahead and scoot up over here, come right over here. And then Hadi, go ahead and come right over here. Run, run, run. Good. Okay. Cool. Everyone go ahead and turn and face me. Turn and face this direction. Perfect. Good. So if you were here on Monday, you guys got to kind of do this as well. So um, what we're going to do is you just did your full body up in the air, all right? But you didn't actually get to hit anything. So right now you're going to go ahead and get to do that on this pool noodle here, all right? So like Josh, go ahead and here, come up here. You'll be like my test dummy to go ahead and face me. So what I'm gonna do for Josh here, he holds the noodle or the bow out. I'm gonna hold it out from here. He has to do that body whip and he has to hit the different sides of the noodle. So go ahead and show me the first two strikes. Go one, two, good. Then I'm gonna hold it up for him. He has to do the next two. Go up, hit, yep, and then back down. Good, so you're hitting all four strikes on the 
Oh, yeah. Good job, Josh. Everyone go one, two. One, two. All right, try and be super loud. Say one, two. One, two. You rock. You rock. Good job, Josh. Going back to your spot. Okay, so since there's four of you guys and one of me, I'll be calling you up individually. Uh, and then, once you're done, it's so like how Josh just went, what I'll have you guys do is you're gonna go ahead and run down the middle of this, back to the end of your line. So then Josh, go ahead and go down the middle here. And then Diane, scoot up. And then once you're at the back there, you're gonna show me three jumping jacks. Three jumping jacks, right? Now, if you have the noodle or the bow, just go ahead and put it down. As you do that, yeah, you don't wanna do it with the, uh, with the bow stuff. It won't work out very well. Okay, so we'll try and do this quickly. Okay, so Hadi, let's go ahead and come up here. Run, run, run. Good, show me a noodle out like this. Just good. Show me one, two. Good. And then three, four, go up, down. So the actual hit is that one there. And then back down. Better. Try one more time, really fast. Noodle out. Try and leave your hands like this. Good. So don't move your hands. Go one, two. Better. Up. Get with that side. Yep. And then down. A little bit better. Good. Go ahead and run back down to the middle. And perfect. Savannah, you already moved up. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go different line. Diane, come up. Yeah. Holding your noodle like this. Good. Show me hit one, two. Two. Good. And then three, four. So up. Good. Down. Yeah, that's the actual hit. And back down. That is good. Really fast. Stay up here. Really quickly. Everyone watch really fast. Watch me. Okay, so Diane, go ahead and show me the first two hits. Go one, two again. One, two. So the actual hit for the third one, you're not hitting with this side of the bow, all right? You're actually hitting with the other side. When you go back up, that's the actual hit. So try that, Diane. So you're here. Other side. Good. Go back up. Try and hit with that back end of the bow on the bottom. Go hit up a little bit better, and then back down. We'll get it, don't worry. That's why we're doing this now, so you get the early knowledge. So good job. Go ahead and run to the back. Good, and then last one, best one, seven. Now we're gonna do the next one. It's gonna be speed round. You gotta go as fast as you can, no help from Sensei. Get ready? Hold on. Hold on. Good, go one, two. Good, and then three, four. Good, and then go ahead and run back to the back. Good. Okay. Speed round. Now, as soon as you get up here, you gotta do one, two, three, four, run to the back, and do your three jumping jacks, all right? I wanna see how fast we can do this. I'm gonna time you guys, all right? We'll do this twice and see if you guys can get faster, all right? Do you guys think you're fast? Yes, and say? Yes, and say. Yes, all right, we'll see. We'll go one, 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 one. So, great time starts now. Come on, come on. Good. One, two. Good. And then three, four. One, two. Good. Run to the back. Run, 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 Holly, come up. Good, so you gotta be ready as soon as you're here. Ready, go one, two. Good, and then three, four. Good, run to the back. Run, run, run. Good, oh. Yeah, Savannah, come. That works. Good, one, two. Three, four. Good, and run to the back. And then Diane, last one, last one, quick. Ready, and go, one, two. And then back up. Yep. There you go. Yep, that was it. And then back down. Oh. Do it, then run to the back. Three jumping jacks. Oh, time stops. Right. Do your three jumping jacks. Three jumping jacks. Ditch, knee, stop. And then everyone's standing up tall. Okay. So that was about 30 seconds. Right. Do you guys think you can go faster? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I think you guys can too. All right. So as soon as you're up here, Holding out your noodle like this, to get ready. One, two, three, four. For all the moves. As fast as you can. You think you can do it in 10 seconds? We'll see. We'll see. All right, it's all up to you guys. You gotta go as fast as you can. All right, get ready. Time starts, all right? Now! Good, two, three, four. Good, then run to the back. Good, Hottie, come on. Good. Four. Good, you're getting better at that. Run to the back. Oh, so bad, huh? Good. Oh, hold it in the middle. One, two, three, four. Good. Yep, that was it. You're doing one extra, but that's okay. Diane! Quick! Don't forget your three jumping jacks at the end. One, two, three, four. Good, then run to the back. Three jumping jacks. Oh, it's gonna be close. One, two, three. Dish makes on. And then everyone's standing up tall. 
Ooh. How fast do you guys think he went? How fast? 20 times. 20 times? I think like uh, 9 or 10. 9 or 10? Jeez. That'd be really fast. That'd be okay. Okay. So, for that round, you guys got 15 seconds. You more than half your time. That's pretty awesome. You guys are actually getting really good at that. So good job. Okay, you guys are pretty fast. So, go ahead. If I moved you, go ahead and run back to your spot. So, Javi, right back over here. We'll use the pool noodle a little bit more. Run, 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 run. And then Savannah, come right back to your spot over here. Run, run, run. Good. All right. So, pretty good. Okay, so that's some of your bow uh, stuff there, your full body look. I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys one more thing with this. Um, just like a little extra since you guys are pretty good at that. So everyone show me standing up tall, bow at your side. Show me good focus. Standing up tall. Good. Okay, because remember, once you start playing with it, doing whatever, I gotta take it away. Okay, it's not a toy. So, pretty good. So that's your full body look. The other thing I want to go ahead and teach you, and I, the other thing I want to go ahead and teach you today is going to be called your overhead. Everyone say that. Say overhead. Overhead. Okay, and this is a strike that's actually a power strike with your bow. Your body whip, those are more speed strikes. They're quicker. Okay, your overhead, this one's a stronger strike. It's a power strike. Okay, it's like a thrust kick or a side kick. So everyone, show me bow out like this. Good. So how you start this, okay, is you're doing actually two moves. The first one you're kind of aiming, and the second one's the actual strike. So bow's out here. Good. So what you're gonna do, if I'm facing this way, so everyone watch me in the mirror, I'll do it one facing this way, one facing that one. If I'm here, I'm gonna bring the bow up to my shoulder up here. Yep, and you still wanna hold it normally, so don't switch your hands. Hold it normally, it'll make more sense. So you come up here, then you're gonna drop it down. Oh, to your side again, the other side. So you're going across your body here. Good. Okay, so try it. Go out. Go out. Good. So show me up to your shoulder one, up to here, and then you're going to drop down to the other side on your hip on this side. Go hit two. A little bit better. Okay, try one more time. Go up. Better. And then drop down two. Better. And then since you have the actual bow, yours is going to come up. Go here. Hold it normal. So try and bring this side up to here. Yeah, good. So then you drop down whoosh, with your hands. A little bit better, and you just gotta go across your body. Yours will be a little bit harder because it's longer. But you'll get it. But that's a little bit better. That's called your overhead strike. Everyone say that. Say overhead. Overhead. Good. And that's like a little bit more of a power strike with your bow. Right? Just as a little added bonus. Because we're getting pretty good with that full bio. Let's do our fun drill. So pretty good. Uh, we'll come back to those a little bit later. For right now, if you have your uh, pool noodle, go ahead, or your bow, go ahead and put it down. If you have your nunchucks, put it down next to your nunchucks. Or uh, like for Savannah and Diane, go ahead and Diane, run over here, play that, that wall. And then yeah, you're good to put it with your nunchucks, perfect. And then run right back to your spot. Run, run, run. Perfect, 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 perfect. Good, and then right back to your spot. Pretty good. So we're starting to teach you guys some more of those bow stuff, a little bit of sets. So once you're a blue bow and you actually start to learn the kata, you'll be able to get it like that. You'll know everything or know what to do at least. Just like what we did for nunchucks and your full body. So pretty cool. All right. Right now we're going to go ahead, let's move on to a little bit of our tayogas. All right. We'll do a little bit of tayogas. Then we'll get to split you guys. All right. You three will be learning a bit of wansu. Right, and then Diane, you'll get to get better at your whole Tioga learning the second half. All right, we got the whole step. Now we're gonna finish it. Okay, so everyone, let's try Tioga one together as our warm up. All right, Tioga one. Wrap your arms. Wrap your arms. Good. I'll do this with you for the first one. Then you'll do the second one all on your own. Good. Get ready. Go. Or uh, yeah, once with me. Let's go step out. Down block one. I'm looking for my best forward stances. Whoever has my best stances right now. That means their front knees bent. Pretty good. Go see some forward punch. Post. Good. And what I want you guys to try and do is start to breathe as you strike. All right? Go. It'll help you, especially since we're wearing the mask. It'll help you there as well. Go front leg all the way around the downward block. Good. 
Good. Then go C step forward and punch. Good. Okay. And once you do later on, once you're doing it with more people, it'll help you to stay together as well. Go down the middle, downward ball. Good. Still bending your front knee. Good. C step forward, punch one. Punch two. Punch three, big key eye. Ah! Good. And then here's our whole step. Go back leg. Cross behind, spin around. Downward block. Good. C step forward, punch. Good. And if you're still breathing, extra points. Front leg, spin around, downward block. So your front leg, go spin around to the back. Okay, follow. Okay. The secret of Tayoga, you're doing the same thing but backwards. It'll make more sense later, don't worry. C step forward, punch. Good. Front leg, down the middle, downward block. Good. Make sure bending your front knee. Try and show me your best forward stance. Good. And then other hand in home position. That's better. Three punches. Go seize the forward punch. One, two, and three. Big ki. Ah! Yeah. Good. Then back leg. Do your whole step again. Cross. Spin around. Downward block. Spin that one. There we go. Seize the forward punch. Good. And then last two moves. Front leg. Spin around. Downward block. Just like the beginning. And cease the fourth punch, big ki. Ah! Yeah. Good and reset. That's all of Tayoga one. one. Still pretty good. Good. Try it one more time, all on your own this time. All right, and then we'll go ahead and start to split you guys, and we'll get this more in detail for you. That's pretty good. All right. Try your best, Diane. Try your best. So everyone, wrap their arms. Show me Tayoga one, and I'm gonna have you three perform Tayoga four uh, on your own. Get okay, ready? Wrap your arms tight fist. I'm looking for my best stances and my loudest key eyes. All right. Who's going to be my loudest? Me and Daddy! Oh, Josh already has the loudest there. Who's going to have my best stances? Me and Daddy! Well, we'll see. Tight fist. Wrap your arms. Get okay, ready? Show me tight. go one. And go! Good. Yep. Hold trauma. Good. Make sure you're bending your knees. Good. Oops. So far. I think Josh has my best Ooh, I'm not, I'm not sure who's my loudest. Good, then you three go ahead and wrap your arms. All right, now you guys are gonna perform for me Tayoga four, okay? So remember, you're doing all three of your moves, just downward block, rising block, snap kick, punch, all of the whole Tayoga four. Putting it all together, all right? Tight fist, wrap your arms. Show me your best stances, try and be my loudest. You ready? And go! details such as making sure your other hand's always in home position, okay, whenever you're not using it. Everyone, just try this with me. Just go wrap your arms and just go down the middle. Show me forward stance. Down the middle, downward block. Good. Make sure other hand's in home position. Show me C-step forward punch. Bring this hand right back. Home position. Good. Making sure it's already there as soon as you get there. Go next one. Again, C-step punch. Good. So your other hand's right in home position. And remember, Whichever leg's in front, you always are using the same hand. It never switches. Right? And then cease the forward punch, big key eye. Good. Good. 
Good, reset back in response. So that's just something you gotta keep in mind as you're doing not only your Tayogas, but all of your Katas later on. Yeah, right back to your spot. Perfect. Good. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. So that's a little bit more of your Tayoga stuff um, that you'll get to do, as well as that we're getting to get uh, better with all of our Katas as we're coming back. So it's looking good. All right, you guys, doesn't seem like you've lost much, which is good. You have been practicing. So, now we're going to go ahead and um, split you guys up for what you're doing individually, all right? Orange belts, you guys, and Master Orange, you guys are learning your Wan Su, all right? And then, Miss Diane, you're starting to finish up your Tayoga one, all right? Which we basically just did the whole thing, which is kind of cool, but awesome. So, um, let's go ahead and you guys should be fine where you are, and then and say, can we split them for their individual? Perfect. Uh, you have five more minutes to teach. Okay. Okay. Never mind. So. And today's a self-defense day. Do you need self-defense for them? Which one's self-defense tomorrow? Monday, when? Monday, Tuesday is self-defense. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday is Kata. Wednesday, Thursday is self-defense tomorrow. So just run up through some self-defense review and we'll go. Okay, perfect. So good. So then uh, we'll continue with more of that stuff next week. We did a little bit of that earlier, which is cool. So let's go ahead and then do what we were doing earlier. So we got to teach you guys, or at least review some of Sumo, and then we'll do, um, we'll make that look better, all right? So everyone's standing up tall. Good. So everyone say Sumo. Sumo. Good, all right? And remember, it's blocking or protecting from somebody trying to come in, choke you or grab you, okay? So everyone's standing up tall. First thing, let's try it one more time with me, and then you guys will try it all on your own, all right? So, show me box ears, one, up front. Oh, you gotta be faster than that, one more time, hands down. Who's my fastest? Me, 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 me. Oh, good, you gotta be my fastest and my loudest, that's good. Good, staying up tall, show me box ears, one. Good, elbows up high, drop down, two. Good, who's in my best horse stance? Oh, better hottie, good. Hands open up, double spear hand. That's good. Then here's your set of four. We got to practice earlier. Go grab, step, elbow smash, turn, hammer fist, face back kick, big key eye. Ah! Turn and check. Try and wrap your arms as you check. A little bit better. A little bit better. Reset. Good. Now I'm just going to talk you guys through it. I'll walk around as we're doing it. Standing up tall. Show me box ears. One, up high. Good. Yeah, it's like popping your hands together. Elbows up high. Go drop down, horse stance, two. Good, tight fist. And yeah, your hands are all the way back in home position here. Hands open up, double spear hand. Good, go grab your set of four. Elbow smash. Good, and yeah, if you're stepping forward as you do the elbow smash, extra points, because that's what I want to see. That's showing me a better, uh, stronger set of four. Turn to the back like you're running away. Ah, hammer fist. Good. Back kick. Big key eye. Oh, Diane had my loudest key ah! Good. Turn and check. Turn and check. Good. And really quickly, Diane, go back to your back kick. Show me back kick. With your right leg. Good. Now with that leg, show me step forward to the back like this. Yeah, then turn that way and check for the front. <laughs> you want to look around the other one. That's okay. We'll get better at it. Oh, yeah, because that way you're going away from the back end rather than pressure. Okay, so good. Any questions at the end right now, bud? But oh, pretty good. Let's try that all on your own. All of sumo. So standing up tall. Good. Say sumo. Sumo. Good. And then let's see. Do you guys remember the fun way to say it? Let's do that one more time. Just a little bit of fun. Good. So one leg out. Go. Oh, but you gotta make the sound. I can't be the only one. Try one more time. Nice and loud. Ready? It makes a lot more fun. And go. One. Good, that's better. <laughs> and then another leg. Good, clap up high. Say sumo. Good. Standing up tall. Good, so yeah, if you remember that, that's a fun little way you can do the kind of like your sumo bow. Good, let's try it all together on go. You're gonna go one, two, three, and then your set of four. All right, all of that. Get ready, standing up tall. Show me sumo. And go. Here's good. Try and 
almost in your hand. And then you're set up four. Good grab. Good, yep, there you go. Yep. And then turn and check. Then turn and face me. Turn your head face this way. You want to turn around the other way. It's like you're looking to the back. We'll get better at it. But that's pretty good. All right, let's try one more time. This time I'm looking for who can be my loudest. All right, because I heard a couple of you guys, but I want to hear all of you guys. I might not be able to hear you or see your mouth move, but I can hear your voice. All right, so try one more time. Sumo, standing up tall. Last one, best one. Get ready. And go. Sumo, go. Good. And then loud Kia is. Oh, that's good. Ah! Oh, that's better. Good. Savannah, how do you guys this? Back yep. And turn this way. Turn this way toward me. Keep turning. There you go. All right, that way you're spinning around, going away from me. But that's really good. And that's one of your main self defense moves for today. Sumo. All right. But pretty good job for that. Um, good. And that's your second move, self defense set too. Your advanced spreading the wings there, which is pretty awesome for you guys. Good, good, good. So now for all four of you guys, the one standing up tall, let's go ahead and do. Uh, are you gonna do a match chat or a game? Uh, I can do the match chat. We gotta. We have to end them seriously in like one minute because yeah. we have to do five minutes to disinfect, clean all the stuff, uh, and do all that good stuff. So you guys go ahead and show me. Take an ink. If you can let the person in the room that's uh, trying to enter for our black book club, that'd be perfect. Okay, so Nia, I need you to go get your mask on right now. Exit the dojo, go get your mask on, come right back. Okay? So it's important for all of you guys to remember that you're going to be leaders when you guys go back to school. So when you go back to school, it could be three months, it could be six months, who knows? Okay? That's what's kind of interesting for you guys. But do you know what you're going to have to wear when you go back to school? Your mask. So I'm proud of you guys. That's what I wanted to talk to you about today. That you're able to do your class and you're able to wear this, even though it almost maybe sounds silly. It really actually helps people from getting what? Sick, that's right. So just by doing this simple little thing, when we get to meet all of you guys, it makes a huge difference. And the more you guys can do it without fuss, then um, the more it makes you a leader. Because if you'll see other class, other kids at the supermarket or other, other people's parents might not even be making them wear the mask. But it's important for you guys to listen and follow along so that when other students see or other kids in the community see you guys wearing the mask, that you're actually being a leader by wearing. Does that make sense, yes, Sensei? Yes, that's right. Okay, so that's, yeah, come on in, Val, come on in. So that's what I wanted to tell you. I'm super proud of you guys, because it's not the funnest thing to wear. But what, what is cool and fun is that we still get to get here and do what we love and train you guys and do all that fun stuff. Sound cool, yes, Sensei? Yes, that's right, yes, Sensei. Good, so all of you guys, automatic student day, you're getting extra points for showing spirit, like Savannah. If you wear red, white, and blue, or you got your red, white, and blue Superman stuff on, so this week is all about red, white, and blue. We're going to give away a prize tomorrow. We'll give away a prize every single week. So next week, do you know what the theme is? Say water week. Water week. Water, water week. Okay, so the Sensei and I will have our uh, water, and we get to squirt you guys when you're doing awesome uh, for, for super fun. If you have a water gun at home, we want you to use that too. So mom and dad, when it's time to uh, for your Zoom classes, they can squirt you and have all the same fun we'd have here at the dojo. But uh, through the computer and over the over the phone because I can't I can't squirt you through the computer so mom and dad will have to help me out. That cool, yes, Sensei? Yeah. Okay, so it'll be a super fun couple of weeks. Each week has its own theme. All right, stand up, feet together, hinge your side. Okay, bum bum bum. Savannah, you're gonna yell at Sensei. Bum bum bum. We'll bow you out. Okay, go ahead. He was good. Good. Everyone bow. Say Jumbo. Arigato. Good. Listen, everyone clapping for you. Good job. Actually, Joshua has a master orange. Oh, that should have been you. Good job. Grab your stuff and exit it. And then if you have your pool noodle next to your stuff, I just want you guys to put it right by So the door. Was she not wearing one of these the whole class? Didn't notice. Okay. Good. Set the pool noodle down. Go ahead and exit it. Right down there. And then, yep. Amanda, go ahead and put it down. Yeah, there you go. Then right down to the end. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Same thing. Good. Good down.
then Black Belt Club. Hello, hello. We'll be starting you guys up in just a little bit here. Uh, we'll wait for a couple more people to show up here. What's up, Daniel? You got your cat there? <laughs> Cute cat. So let's go ahead and put this on in the gallery. Okay, so it looks like we got Elias so far, Daniel, and then Victoria and Winston, or Victoria and Winnie. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead. Start you guys up. Uh, have a good night. So it looks like it's just going to be you four. I see Victoria, but where's Winston? Oh, there he is. He was hiding. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. So good. Perfect. And then it looks like it's just going to be you four for today. So good, Black Belt Club. So everyone, yep, making sure you guys are muted and everything. That's perfect. Yeah, just back, and we got you guys up here in the so chat. Um, and we'll get you guys all squared off and ready in all just right. a second here. Ollie is a mini, yes. All right, we got Victoria and Elias. Elias has his new belt. I'm looking at it. Daniel was out testing. Winston and Victoria, I think, need theirs. If you guys just give me one more second, I'm gonna try and set up this microphone so that it sounds really clear for you guys. So there's no, no madness. Oh, are you wrestling, brother? That's good. So just bear with me, thank you guys. All those new belts look good. Do you guys like your new belts? Thumbs up. Rocking that new belt. All right, good, Daniel. Oh, Daniel brought the kitty out. Cool. I think it's under sound. Uh, oh, yeah, let me see. Uh, Bluetooth. Neil, the Norwegian Ridgeback. That's cool. I thought, isn't there a Rhodesian Ridgeback? That's like a kind of... Do I sound different yet? Do I sound the same? Can you hear me now? Good. Okay, good. Uh, one more thing. Okay. Okay, cool. That Bluetooth is set up. We're ready to rock. Black Belt Club. Jacob Morcos is coming in. Bam. And we're right on time. Ready to go. All right, so thank you guys. Let's go ahead and bow you in. I'm going to move this here like this so you don't see the table in the camera. Cool. Uh, good, good, good. All right, so what we started to learn before the end of uh, the quarter was, hey, there's Orion, is your fast hand set. So we're going to work on the boxing sets and the fast hand sets today in your Virtual class. So let's go ahead and bow you guys in. PT, get a hand to your side. I believe it would be Victoria and Winston. You guys are our highest ranking students right now. So you're going to bow us in. Just point to me, and I'll know you're saying Kios get. Point right at me. Victoria, Winston. Bam. Kios get. Sensei. Ray. Go ahead and bow. Go and bow, Sensei. Go and bow a team. Okay. Let's warm your class up. Okay, we have a fun warm-up we've been doing. Orion, oh, go ahead and bow. Set your weapons down right here. Stand up right there. Good. Hands in your belly. Give me 10 jumping jacks. Ready and begin. Go. Itch. Ni. Son. Shi. Go. Roko. Shishi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Good. That was it. Elias was my fastest. Okay. 
So we did a warm up of the week and it went like this. It was a three by three challenge. We have to work on our three dragon drops. Dragon drops are like this. Legs out, stand up. That's one, give me two more dragon drops, go. Itch, knee, sawn. Then I want you to kick each time with three legs, or three with each leg, okay? Give me three flip kicks. Itch, knee, sawn. Good, same thing, other side. Itch, knee, sawn. Now three jumping jacks, begin. Itch, knee, sawn. Good, now I want, oh Ryan, I want you to turn around. Savannah, I want you to line up right here. Run, run, run. Can you take your nunchucks out of your belt for me, sister? Good. Go ahead and set them back down by that wall. Good. Now you guys got to race our kiddos here at the studio. I want three dragon drops, three kicks with each leg, and then three jumping jacks so you can warm your body up. Neil, your weapon should not be in your hands. Thank you. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. Three dragon drops, quick. It's good. Jumping up high. Nice. Uh, Leas. Good, that's it, Jacob Morcos. Ooh, he's like a like a bunny. Okay, now three kicks each leg, and then three jumping jacks. Good, give me that two more times. Ready, set, go. Fastest one. I liked Daniel that time. Good, but Winston's already getting on his next one. Boom, he's almost done with the dragon drops. We should do that two more times. Just like, oh, you guys aren't moving. Do that two more times. Good, that's it. Jacob Morcos is moving, good. Elias has stopped, but uh, Orion's still going. Uh, Neil's moving. Good. Victoria Winston. Well, they were the fastest ones that time. They're going to get done with theirs first because they got one more. Ready? Go. Do you guys do all three, Winston and Victoria? You guys are so fast. That's good. Finish strong. Daniel, stand up tall. Jacob, that rocks. Uh, Winston, Victoria, good. Okay. So for y'all, we got to move on. Our kick combo of the month was a little bit different as well. Okay. Orion and uh, Savannah, turn your body face that way. Okay, and we're gonna bring you guys along with us because we're mobile like that, okay? So our kick combo of the month is the kick, chicken kick, and the jump front kick, okay? So if we try that together as a team, it'll look something like this. Okay, everyone turn your body this way so we match. Good, and back up this way so you're all the way on the screen, okay? Let's try the kick together. Show me your best snap kick, one. So Mio, Ryan, Savannah, snap kick together. Good. Kick. Now chicken kick is to bend one knee and jump and kick with your other leg. Chicken kick. And then the jump front kick. Jump with both feet and kick. One leg up. And you should land in your best horse stance. So back on up. Good. Let's try it again. Now you guys also should be able to watch me on the screen share like we did on... Uh, Yesterday, if you guys were here yesterday and maybe Monday, I can't remember. I think so. All right, ready? Hands up. Watch Orion. Show me kick, chicken kick, double uh, jump kick. Go. Kick, chicken kick, jump kick. Now horse stance. Oh, that was good. Okay, ready? Let me try everybody at home. On your mark, get set, go. Kick, chicken kick, big jump kick. Ooh, Elias. Bam, big horse stance. Good. Jacob M., you rocked it. Okay, so your challenge mode is... To show me that for 30 seconds, as many times as you can. I'm going to share the screen in a moment so you can see a video of me doing it on both sides. Once you get really good at kicking on one side, I want you to learn how to do that kick on both sides. So let's go ahead and share the screen here so you can watch it. And you guys can check it out. Ready? Screen share. Kablam. Kablam. Kick challenge of the week. On your market set, go. Follow me through the kicks. You got 30 seconds. Kick. Chicken kick. Jump kick. Good. Elias, that's it. Working both sides. So we can see you guys moving. Kick, chicken kick, jump kick. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, feet together, hands on your side. Let's stop the screen share here. Boom. Give me five more jumping jacks. Go. Itch. Knee. Son. Chi. Go. Good. Let me stop this video. So I'm not watching it over and over again on my th on my end. Bam, and you guys rock. Okay, so fast hand sets we need to learn. We also worked on our boxing sets. That's just for you guys. Super advanced new stuff, okay? Orion, or Savannah, hop on that line right there. Orion, stay. Yes, Savannah there. Okay, you guys turn face this way. Let me just mirror the screen so I could see more of the students up on the big screen. 
Mm-mm-mm. Here we go. Mirror. Bam. That makes it a little easier for me. Large view. Get rid of the participants. Okay, cool. Nice. Now you guys are in more places than one. Okay. Fast hand sets. Fighting stance. Hands up. Eesh. Okay, so fast hand set. One hand's going to do a push block. Can you show me push block? Now, Orion and Savannah, and you're not going to touch your own hand. Okay, Savannah, back up to this line. Orion, back up to that line quickly. Same spot. Okay, that way these guys at home can see me a little better. Okay, fighting stance. Hands up. Right now, Elias matches me. So does Savannah. Ready? Show me push and palm. One. I'm going to do both moves at the same time. Too slow. Hands up. Try it again. Right hand push block. Left hand palm. Yeah, so the punch is going to come in, and you're going to move it out of the way and palm heal them same time. Just like that, Elias. Okay, now your arm's gonna go underneath theirs and you're gonna palm heel to the body. Shh. Go ahead and give them the palm. See how this hand comes up like a rising block now? So T. Jacob, if you could kill this set of lights right here, that'd be great. Switch your own hand and then pull them. It's gonna be the bottom, yeah, there you go. Pull and strike. So you're gonna pull their arm against you and shoot Ocha off with your arm. Okay, so show me fighting stance again, it looks good. Ready, push and palm, one. Shh. Fast hand set, number one. Circle, hit him in the body. Two. Switch your grip. Pull. Good. So on go. I should be able to see those three sets of moves. Let me see him, Neil. I got Jacob following along. Good. Ready? Begin. One, two, three. Nice, Elias. Good, Daniel. Bam. Okay, cool. So here's how it's kind of going to work out. When you guys are coming to class, we have these little sanitized pool noodles that we use, and that's the only thing that we use for hand-to-hand -hand stuff with you guys. So we're going to try that with uh, Orion here. Orion, stand right here. Hold the pool noodle. And here's how the move's going to work. If that's his pretend punch, he's coming in trying to hit me in the face. Go. You're going to like a poke. Give me a slow poke right here. I'm going to push and palm so I can keep him away. So I push the punch out of the way. Now I'm going to keep in contact with his arm. This is pretend arm. Boom. And I hit him. And I don't want to let go of this arm, so I keep control of him. Grab at the bottom and pull. So I pull him in and you'd actually hit him in the face, wham, with that side of your hand. And that's how fast hand set number one will start to work. When you guys come back into the studio, I'll try and poke you like this. Ready? Left fighting stance. Push and palm. You're going to push it to the side. Mm, this hand pushes it that way. This hand palm. Push. This hand push. This hand push. This hand doesn't touch anything. It pretends to hit me in the head. This hand this way. Extend it. This hand extends towards my face this hand extends towards my face that's right now circle underneath okay and this hand's gonna palm heel bam this hand palm heel boom now grab it and pull me in this hand shooto chop so the more we can show that in the air then when you guys get to class you'll be better at doing it on the noodles okay eventually doing it on humans again feet together face the to front but that's a cool way we can keep you guys safe and still practice our stuff. Just like doing it over line like this. Push and palm one. Oh, too slow. Ready? Neil was my fast. Ready? Push and palm one. Circle hit him in the body two. Okay, now it's Victoria. Good and Elias. Now switch your hands. Pull him in. Okay, bam. Just like we were using that pool noodle in class. Okay, set number two starts the same way, but you're actually going to break the bad guy's arm. Okay, so they're they're coming in with the same jab punch with the left hand. You're going to push and palm one. See if we match, Orion. Push with this hand. Push with this hand. Match me. This hand. That one. This way. Push with the other hand forward. You're like this. I need you like this. Yes. Body two. Yes. Switch and pull. So that's number one. Good. Winston, Victoria, Neil, you got it. Okay, ready? Hands up. Number two starts the same way. They come out with a push. We're going to push in palm one. Switch your hands, uh, Orion. That's better. Now we, when we circle and hit him in the body, just like you already have, Elias, you got it. Now we keep a hold of this arm, but we're going to break it with this hand. Show me the arm break. So their arm bends one way. You're going to hit it the way that it doesn't bend, boom, to try and break it. Throw it down. Now it's broken. They're not going to be able to use it. You're going to create more shock to the area by hitting your shoulder against their shoulder. Shoulders attached to the broken arm. Hit it hard. Go. Boom. No, you're going to move this way, Orion. Boom. Okay, now we move away from each other and step back. Step back away from each other. Palm. 
Good. Palm with the right hand. Palm heel out. Now chop. Good. Now inverted chop. Ayu. Grab them. Pull. Shoot. And shoot chop. Towards this way, Orion. Boom. You're always gonna mirror me. You're not gonna. You're gonna kind of do the opposite of what I'm doing. Okay, you guys. Show me two jumping jacks. Go. Bitch. Knee. Because we've done two fast hand sets. Let's run through them again. And left fighting stance. Number one. One. First move. One. Second move. Two. Hit him in the body. Third move. Pull and strike. Ha. Three. Towards this way, Orion. Good. Okay. Show me set number three. Ready? Push and palm. One. Circle hit him in the body. Two. Break their arm. Three. Break it with the other arm, Orion. That's it, Elias. Throw it. You don't need it. Use your left shoulder. Bump into him. Move forward. Bump into me. Boom. That's it. Good. Uh, Jacob Morcos. It's very good. Slide back. Palm. You switch your side. Uh, girly, stay on this side. Palm. Don't look at the screen. Chop. Inverted chop, grab them, pull them, bam, that was it. Okay, so that's fast hand set number two. Let's show you guys how that one works. Show me take a knee. So, Orion, your noodle will be the orange noodle for today. If I have you use it again for the class, take a knee, like I asked, please. Savannah, yours will be this pink one, okay? So stand up right here. Whoop. Okay, you're going to be the pretend bad guy for this one. So the attacker for number two is coming and trying to poke you in the head. Go poke. Poke like you're going to poke me. That's right. I'm going to push it and palm heal her out of the way. I hit her in the body. Bang. Now I get to break her arm. I'm going to snap it in half. Now I don't need it. I'm going to throw it. That's where I shoulder, palm. And then I would hit her with a regular palm. Chop to the neck. Chop. Can you hold the noodle out? After the last chop to her neck, I'm going to grab her arm again. And that's where I pull her in. Quam. Go pam, go pam. And that's where I hit her with the final move. So that's how set number two kind of looks on a person. Savannah, go back to your spot. Again, all this stuff's designed to be on people. So for right now, you guys are learning it in the air, and then eventually you'll be able to apply it uh, to, to opponents. Okay, stand up, be together. So this is great. You're studying the technique to get better at it. So by the next time, by the time you're ready, you'll be doing a lot of new, new cool stuff. Okay, so fighting stance like mine. Oh, too slow. Feet together. Fighting stance on the left. Number three, and that's where we're going to stop today, starts like this. Show me two hands out. Okay, hands are going to be open towards the front. Okay? Now, your right hand is always going to be on the bottom doing a move to uh, defend their block. Okay? The left hand, show me your left hand. The left hand is always doing the punch. Good Daniel, good Neil, and uh, Jacob. Nice. Okay, so we're going to palm with the uh, right and punch with the left. Palm and punch. Same time, they're gonna be stacked over the top of each other like a pancake, okay? You're gonna scoop the hand out of the way with your right hand, scoop, that's close, but this top one's always tight fist. Top one, tight fist, okay? Bottom one, palm. Now I'm gonna scoop them out of the way, move their arm, their arm's in my way, I'm gonna move their arm and back fist. That's it, good Winston, Victoria, good. Now on the last scoop, I get so close that I don't need to hit them with my hand. This is one of your elbow strikes. You're gonna pull them in, and hit him with your elbow for the last move. Good, Elias, that was it. Okay, reset. So let's try again. That's fast hand set, three. Show me the number three. Show me the number three. Three, so I know you're listening. Okay, fighting stance. Fast hand set number three, just like I saw it on your fingers, Victoria. Push and palm, one. Bottom hand's always open, top hand's always closed. Scoop and back fist, two. Nice, now I'm gonna scoop their arm out of the way again, and elbow strike. Huh. You're going this way every time, Orion. When I move towards you, you move towards me. Okay, back up, reset. Switch your side, Savannah. Fighting stance, okay? Palm and punch, one. Shh. Switch your stance. Palm and punch, one. Scoop and back fist, two. Scoop and elbow, three. Huh. Bam, use that big elbow. That's super strong. Okay, try again, reset. Good job. Okay, so let's review. Today we learned fast hand sets one, two, and three. We're starting to get them down, all right? Uh, Black Belt Club is working out great because we're able to see you guys virtually and in person at the same time. I can only do this because you guys are my most focused class. I can't do this with my normal classes where I have 
live and in person or in person and zoom at the same time it never really works as well as it does right here so you guys are doing a great job let's review them again as a team okay fighting stance and do one two and three fast hand sets fighting stance this way savannah okay palm and palm or push and palm one this is number one switch your arms all right good circle body two that's it Elias. that's it neil switch your hands and pull three huh Yes, that's correct. You fixed it, okay? Number two, what part of our their body do we break in number two? Show me. What do you break? You break their arm. You're going to hit them in the arm. Boom, you're going to hit them in the elbow. That's right, Jacob Marcos. Okay, so show me fighting stance. Oh, two slow feet together. Fighting stance. Good job. Set two. Push and palm. One. Circle, hit them in the body. Two. Break their arm. Three. Huh. Throw the arm. You don't need it. Shoulder them. Move in. That's it, Winston. Get in there. Now step back. Palm. That's good. Uh, Daniel as well. Very good. Palm. And then chop. Inverted chop. Chop and chop. Grab them. Pull them in check. Huh. Good. Reset. I like it. I like it. Okay, fighting stance. Number three is our last one. It starts Wing Chun style with the hands open. Shing. Open up the hands like knives. Okay, palm and punch, number one. Bottom hand's always open. Top hand's always closed. Okay, scoop and back knuckle, two. Scoop and elbow, three. Huh. Move it this way, all right, this way. Always moving towards the camera. Thanks, Ron. Okay, give me five jumping jacks, go. Itch, he, son, she, go. Okay, pretty good. Here's our challenge round, okay? Oh, Ryan, you could be here. Savannah, you could be right here. I want you to turn and face the camera. Everybody take a knee really quickly because I want you to watch me first, okay? You're going to do the Red Dragon Dizzy Challenge. When I do number one, I'm going to spin around one time before I do it. When I do number two, I want you to take a knee. Take a knee like I asked. When I asked everybody to take a knee, whether you're in person or in Zoom, take a knee, okay? Number two, I spin around two times and do number two. Number three, guess how many times I spin around? Number three, I spin around three times, right? You got the idea. Okay, so watch me. I'm going to try and do it without getting dizzy, okay? Ready? But that's kind of the goal, okay, is just to have a little bit of fun. So when I do, when I say go, you're going to show me all three like this. Spin around. Show me number one. Spin around two times. Show me number two. Shh, shh. Arm break. Throw them. Shoulder. Palm. Chop. Chop. How many times do I spin around now? Three. So I know you're falling. It's me. It's on. Whoa. And then show me number three. Palm, back fist, elbow. Your turn. Who's going to win? I want to see who has the closest to the most correct move. This is our last challenge that we get uh, to have fun with because then we got to get ready for our next class. Okay, feet together. Stand up tall, hands your side. Oh, yeah. Oh, too slow. Take a knee. Be the fastest every time. That's how you get better. Ready? Feet together, hands your side. Oh, yeah. Good job. Okay. Spin around one, two, or three times to show me that number. I could see these guys in the thing behind me. I could see all of you on the computer screen, so show me your best. I'm gonna pick a winner. On your mark, get set, go. Big spin, number one. Yes, that's it, Daniel, circle, hit him in the body. Bam, switch the arms, three. Okay, Elias, keep doing your best. Number two now, spin twice, Neil's already on two. Number two has the arm break, palm, bang, arm break, throw him, shoulder, palm, chop, chop, grab, pull. Number three, spin around three times, quick. Big spin. One, two. Oh, that's fast, Daniel. Three. Okay, ready? Palm and punch. One. Good, Elias. Good. Scoop. Back fist. Two. Nice. Last one. Scoop and elbow. Three. Hiya. That's it. You guys did awesome today. Good job. Okay, turn face to front. Good. Back on your spot. Feet together, hands to your side. Oh, Ryan, bow us out. Kios, yeah, get. Domo, arigato. That's what we're, we're, we're at time, right? 4.45. All right, give yourself a round of applause. Good job. Okay, I want both of you guys to sit back in your spots right here. Savannah, uh, Orion, everybody take a knee really quickly. You guys did an awesome job today. I just want to take, uh, take a moment to talk to you guys about all the stuff that's going on. Whether you're in person like Savannah and Orion or you're virtual like all of you guys at home, you're getting 50 points every time you show up to class for our end of the week challenge. We're going to be giving away cool things like uh, little remote control things and drones and all kinds of cool stuff every week for the summer as long as you guys are showing up to class and doing your best. Every time you show spirit, like this week is red, white, and blue week. Stand right here, Savannah. 
Look right there. See, she's got the cool red, white, and blue shirt on for class. Show it off. Put your hands down. Cool, okay? So she gets 50 extra points for the challenge. The student with the most points at the end of the week gets to, uh, gets to win the prize. Okay, so back to your spot. So showing up to class, showing school spirit. Uh, next week is water week. We, we're going to ask all the moms and dads to have a water gun for you guys at home. So when it's time to squirt you in class, when we have our virtual class, they're going to squirt you guys at home. So next week's water week. Bring your bathing suits, your rash guards, all that cool stuff to class. Look like you're ready to go to the beach, but don't forget your karate belt. Uh, and that's what we're wearing next week. Sound cool? Yes, Sensei? All right. Okay, so super good job. Keep up all your hard work. If you didn't get your belt at belt testing, we want to deliver them today or next week so that you guys can belt test on Thursdays. Okay, so don't forget. So Savannah and or uh, Winston and Victoria, I don't think you guys made it to belt graduation, but you put in all the hard work to earn your next belt. So we want to still promote you. So make sure uh, that we're getting in touch with you guys and we figure out a date that we can get you guys tested. So you guys rock. Uh, we already bowed out. So Savannah, grab your stuff. You can exit. Oh, Ryan, you're probably in the next class. Is that correct? Okay. So then hang out. Go ahead and warm up uh, Red Dragon 2 right over there. And the rest of you guys, if you have any questions, I'm all ears. If not, you guys did awesome today. Elias, you rock. We'll see you later for Green Belt. Jacob. Uh, and then Winston and Victoria, you guys, can you hang around for a second? Let's, I'm going to ask you to unmute. Try and unmute yourself. Can I hear you, Victoria? Say hello. Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. That's great. So you guys should be getting your master green belt. Is that correct? Or should be getting a brown belt? Master green. Okay, cool. So tomorrow, we have a 715 uh, makeup test that you guys could make it to. Is mom or dad around? Are they available or they're busy right now? They're busy. Okay, you're at grandparents' house. Okay, so tell you what, I probably, because you guys live in Hacienda Heights, is that right? For you too? Rancho Cucamonga. Okay, cool. So I think I, it'll be, okay, at your, par your parents' house is where, Hacienda Heights? Okay, cool. So I think what's going to be easiest for both of us is I'm going to mail your belt, and then next week, you guys will do our makeup test because we're going to have two different makeup tests because we're, we're reaching everybody at different times. Okay? So that's what we'll do for you guys. Right on. Okay, thank you guys so much. Good job. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, Sophia. Okay, let's see. We still should be going live somewhere. Where's that YouTube link? All right, Shane and Vince, yeah, super red, white, and blue. That's awesome, dudes. Okay, cool. So we're still streaming. Okay, all righty. Caitlin, you can bow, set your weapons down here, and line up right there on that marker. Sophia, you can do the same bow. Go ahead and set your weapons down over by the noodles, and I want you to line up right over here. Brothers, you guys are going to set your, your weapons down over, all, all the way over here by this wall. And then I'm going to have you guys line up on middle and front over here, okay, Vince and Shane, respectively, okay? Let me get some kind of cleaner for these guys. No, it's just for these. Because it's going to be easier for the students that are streaming to hear sensitive. We'll just disinfect them. You also. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead. Okay. Cool. So hopefully people on the YouTube stream, you guys can hear us better. Um, so for you guys, we got five of you guys here today, and then however many people are on YouTube. So like Cynthia was saying, we're going to go ahead and start off for you guys first with some Red Dragon stuff, some review from uh, Monday and Tuesday, and then we're going to get going uh, we're gonna go ahead and get onto some of your bow staff really quickly who here has a bow staff with them raise your arm good with you here okay so yeah perfect so yes so later on you guys will have that if not so sophia vince you guys will just have to use uh you'll get to use one of our pool noodles and you'll get to use that a little bit later on um okay so let's go ahead and start first thing with red dragon one um we're gonna learn the first two sets of that um some of you might have already learned that but that would just be some more bonus review for you guys yep and then you'll get to get even better with the kata which will be pretty fun and cool for you guys so uh let me move this over a little bit okay so red dragon one the cool thing about red dragon one similar to like how tayogas all have their own separate thing how it's always like down block rising block whatever else for uh red dragon one it's all inside block punches, and then it switches to rising block punches a little bit later, but uh, we won't get to that today. But um, the main thing is that you're doing a lot of inside block punches. Okay, so before we do the kata, everyone show me jam. Okay, this is your jam. It's like your home position and wrapping your arms for in Tioga. So all you're going to do is from here, you're bringing your hands out. Your top hand is going to do an inside block, and your ba bottom hand that's like in your home position does a reverse punch at the same time. So try that in the air, go inside block punch. One, good, and tight fist. Then jam on the other side. Same thing, inside block punch, two on the other side now. Because you're switching between both of your different sides. Pretty good, try that one more time, jam. And even if you already know the kata, I really don't want to see your arm super down like this. Try and get your arm up a little bit higher so then you're actually blocking uh, your body and your head there, okay? So not super close to your body. It's where it's not really doing anything, but a little bit farther out. That'll make it look a little bit better there. So go ahead and show me jam one more time. Then we'll go ahead and start it in the kata. Show me inside block punch one. Then jam other side, inside block punch two. Pretty good. Making sure that you have tight fists the entire time. It's a little bit better. Good. Come on in, Oliver. Right over here. Good, and then you can put your nunchucks right here, and then right, stand right on that marker there. That'll be perfect. Good. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start Red Dragon 1, okay? So, um, I'll do it facing this way. To start, so you're going to start jam. You're going to go to your left first, yep. And you're going to go forward stance with your left leg, showing step out, just like uh, Tayoga, though. Turn inside block punch into your forward stance here. Your right hand should be doing the punch. All right, make sure you're just doing a regular reverse punch. All right, so turn your fist, show me tight fist. Good, and then your other hand's doing that inside block. Make sure you're bending your front knee. Show me your best forward stance while you're here. Who's in my best stance right now? It might be my orange belt, or my newest blue belt, rather. Temporary orange. But yeah, blue belt, you learned your belt. But pretty good. Then from there, you're going to do it one more time. Jam on your left, because you're always going to, so freeze, just stay with me, even if you know it. You're always going to go from one side, jam onto the other side as you go C-step. So you're jamming on your left here. Go C-step forward, punch, two. Good. And then make sure your arm is up for the other block. Switch your hands, uh, Sophia. A little bit better. Everyone reset, face in the front. Reset. Let's try it one more time. Go jam. Jam. Good. Step out. Go inside block punch. One. Good. Tight fist. You're always going to jam on the opposite side that you just did the punch. Now you're going to jam on your left. Go C step forward. Punch two. Now your left hand is punching better. There you go. Good. All right. Then feet together. Jam on the right. 
good, okay? Now, what you're going to do, it's going to be three moves to the back here, all right? It's going to be an inverted punch, inverted punch one, uh, hammer fist two, back knuckle three, okay? Three moves in the air facing this side. So here, everyone, let's try that together really quick. I'll face over here so you can see me, and I'll do it more over there. So your jam here, jam on the right, go invert punch one. You're kind of wrapping your arms here. Hammer fist two, you're doing like a high low block here. And then back knuckle three, other hand comes back to home position. A little bit better. Try that one more time. Go jam. All right. Good. Show me all three of those moves. Go invert punch, back hammer fist, back knuckle. One, two, three. All right, so you don't want to do it too fast, just throwing your arms out there. You want to show each individual move, all right, especially as you're doing this. So you're facing the back. Show me that one more time. Go one, two, three. Good. Then with your left leg, the one that's facing the back, because everything here goes to the back, show me side kick, left leg, side kick, recoil, and set it down. Good. Reset, facing the front. Let's try that one more time, because the next part of that, it's the same exact thing, just facing the opposite direction, okay? So, jam on your right. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with you once, and I'll talk you through it again. Go step out, inside block punch, one. Show me your best forward stance right here. Good, making sure you're bending your knees. Good, and for your inside block, remember, it's a block that's close to your body, okay? Your elbow should almost be touching your body, really. Okay. It's a little bit better. Good. Then jam on the left. See, step forward. Inside block punch two. Same thing. Jamming on or your uh, inside block. That elbow is close to your body. Feet together. Jam on the right. Good. Hit one, two, three to the back. Good. And then your left leg facing the back. So make sure your other hand's in home position here. Home position. Yep. So you're always doing, each of your hands should be doing like the opposite thing. Left leg. Go side kick, recoil your leg. And from here, you're going to, instead of setting it down, as soon as you do the side kick and recoil, you're going to jam on your right. Step over the other direction. Inside block punch facing this way now. All right. Better. And then you want to switch your arms all over. There you go. The easiest way to think about it, uh, go ahead and reset, everyone face in the front. One of the easier ways to think about your inside block punch so you'll never get confused on which side you're doing it, is you're moving your punches with your body, okay? If you take out the inside block, it's just like when you do Tayoga, how you're always going to move and you're turning with your body for your punches. It's the same thing for Red Dragon, okay? Just now you're doing opposite and you're sort of turning your hips as you go into it. Because now you go from jam out into it. It's kind of adding a bit more power there. Okay. But better. Try that one more time. We'll put that all together. And that's the first set of uh, Red Dragon 1. Go jam. I'm just going to talk you through it. Go inside block punch. One. Forward stance. Make sure who's bending my knee or bending their knee. Show me your best stance. Better. Jam on the left. See step forward. Inside block punch. Two. Jam. Good. Feet together, jam on the right. Good, jam on the right. So other side, Sophia. Yeah, there you go. Good. Go one, two, three to the back. Inverted punch, hammer fist, back knuckle. Good. That's better, Oliver. Good. Side kick. Lock out your side kick. Lock out your knife edge. Recoil. Step all the way over. Inside block punch. The other direction. You had it right before, Sophia. Left hand punches. Good. And this is the opposite of Tioga, where whichever leg's in front, you're punching with the opposite hand. Okay? And you're blocking with the same arm. That's the difference here. It's opposite. Good. Then from there, all right, go jam on the left. C step forward, inside block punch two. Good. Feet together, jam on the left, just like we did the other direction to the back again, because everything always goes to the back. Go inverted punch, cross your arms. Inverted punch, yep. Inverted punch one. So, switch your arms, Caitlin. 
So there we go. Invert punch one. Switch Orion. Switch which hands on top. There you go. Hammer fist two. High low block, yep. And back knuckle three. Okay. And yeah, you're almost moving your hands opposite to each other from here. One's coming into your body to the ham or to the jam, uh, home position. The other one's coming around to that back knuckle. Okay, try that one more time on this side. It's a little bit different on this side than facing the other way, just because um, you're more used to doing everything on your left. Okay, just how we teach stuff. So go jam. Good. Show me. Invert punch one. Make sure your right or your left arm is doing the punch. So everyone show me that. Go right arm doing the punch. So Ryan, switch your hands. Better, better, better. Make sure you're doing an inverted punch. So Oliver, twist your hand a little bit. A little bit better. Hammer fist two, pulling it back. Good. And yeah, you're in your high low block there. And back knuckle three. Good. Then from there, right leg, same to the back. Go side kick. Recall your foot to the front, X wedge, horse stance. Good, and that's all of set one. Reset. Let's try that one more time. Good. Face in the front, go jam on the right. Good, say Red Dragon 1. Red Dragon 1. Red Dragon 1. A little bit better, Orion was my loudest one. That's good. Good. All right, so uh, I'll do it one more time with you, then I'll talk you through it, and then you'll try that much of set one on your own, then we'll go on to set two. Set two is a lot easier than set one. So get ready, go step out, inside block punch one. We're going a little bit faster now, so stay with me. Jam, C step forward, inside block punch two. Good, jam, feet together. Hit one, two, three, the back. Left leg, side kick, recoil your foot, step over and around, inside block punch to the other side. So your right hand is doing the punch now. Switch all over. Tight fist, Caitlin. Good. Stay with me, all right. Better. Make sure you're bending your front knee. Jam on the left. C step forward. Inside block punch. And then feet together, jam. Good. And whenever you go to those feet together jams, I want you to step forward, not back. Okay? So it's always you're moving that same direction. To the back, go inverted punch, back, or hammer fist back. Don't go one, two, three. Switch the other way for the high low block over. One, two, three. A little bit better. Everyone do that one more time, that quick one, two, three. Go. One, two, three. So you're doing a high low block on the other side. It's okay. This one's the harder one to do because, like I said, you're more used to doing it on the other side. Your arms aren't as used to moving that way. Then right or yep, yeah, right leg, go side kick, lock out your knife edge, recoil to the front, X wedge, horse stance. Better. Reset. Back up. Good. Now I'm just going to talk you guys through that. Then you're going to show me that all on your own. All right. Go jam on the right. Good. Step out. Inside block punch. One. Better. Make sure you're always punching with the opposite arm. Better, Oliver. There you go, Vince. Good. Jam on the left. See step forward. Inside block punch. Good. Try and get your punch up. It should be punching about at chin level, just like for the other moves, all right, for your other normal punches. Feet together, jam on the right. Stay with me, bud. Good. Hit one, two, three to the back. Inverted punch, hammer fist, back knuckle. Better, Oliver, make sure that hand is in home position. Try it one more time, Sophia. Go one, two, three. That's better. Good. Side kick to the back. And then spin around to the other side. Inside block punch. Right hand should be punching here. Better, Vince. Good. Yep. Make sure you're bending your front knee in your good forward stance. Jam on the left. C step forward. Inside block punch. Not yet, Oliver. We still got one more to do. Mm-hmm. Feet together, jam on the left. And then to the back, go inverted punch hammer, fist back, knuckle one, two, three again. Other hands in home position. 
Good. So see you're doing it to the other side. You want to face the back. So try it one more time, both of you guys. Go one, two, three. Better, Sophia. There you go, Oliver. That's better. Good. Side kick to the back. Lock out your knife edge. Recoil. Turn to the front. X wedge. Horse stance. And that's better. Good. Let's try that much all on your own. Reset. So on go, you're going to show me one, two, one, two, three. Side kick. One, two, one, two, three. Side kick. X wedge. All right. Try that on your own. Reset. Jam on the right on your own, facing the front. Get ready, Oliver. Jam on the right. Show me that first set of Red Dragon 1. Get ready and go. Good. Try and breathe as you're doing it, just like Shane and Vince. Show me your best stances. There you go, Oliver. Yep. Better. So remember, everything you did this way, you do the same exact thing that way. Kind of. Okay. Lock out your side kick. A little bit better. Good. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Just a little bit. Mainly, we have the first one facing this way. Because this way, it's usually easier. Uh, it's always the other direction that we get a little confused on. So everyone, from here, go jam on the right. Facing the back. Or facing this way, but we're looking towards the back. So, show me one, two, three. Good. Everything always goes to the back here. Side kick, recoil, jam on your right as you're recoiling your foot. Turn, left leg stays in front, inside block punch. Get back up. Bending your front knee. Jam on the left, C step forward, inside block punch. So, you're always punching and going or you're always punching with the opposite hand that your leg is in front. Good. Feet together. Jam on the left. Good. Switch your jam. There you go, Caitlin. Better. Good. Then go inverted punch, hammer fist, back knuckle to the back. So you're always hitting to the back. So try that one more time, Sophia. So one. So you're hitting the back one. You're hitting the back two. Hitting the back three. Better. And then side kick to the back. Recoil your foot and X wedge to the front. Okay. A little bit better. Try just that second part of that first set on your own. Then we'll move on to set two. From jam here. Facing this way. Get ready. So you're going right from one, two, three. Ready? And go. Yep. There you go, Sophia. That's good. Yep, Oliver, better. Turn one. So feet together right before you do that, Sophia. So you go one, two, feet together. Yep, good. A little bit fast. That's better. Good. Okay, then everyone get to there to X wedge. So we're here, X wedge. So that's the end of set one. Now for set two, it's a lot shorter of a set. Uh, and after this, it's actually about half of the kata done, maybe a little bit more uh, done. So we're here, we just went X wedge. You're gonna go double inside. Good, and you're bending your knees still in your, hor in your the horse stance. X wedge, good. Your left leg is gonna C step back first. C step back, downward block right hand. Bending your front knee, because now you're in your forward stance, your right forward stance. That's good, Vince. Just switch your hands. Better, good. All right, C-step back, downward block two, left hand. Good, now you're going to do what's called a lunge punch, all right? Your right leg, just watch me, don't do it yet. Your right leg's going to come halfway up. It's like you're doing half a C-step. Then you're going to lunge forward. It's like you're doing a mini jump. Lunge forward and punch. Try that, so we're here. Go C step up, lunge, and punch. All right. So I don't want you to physically jump up in the air. I want you to move forward more. So reset. Good. 
Try one more time. From here, go X wedge. Or stance. Double inside. X wedge. Good. Stay with me. Left leg. C step back. Downward block one. Good. Extra points if you're still with me. Feather all over. There you go. This whole side's with me. That's good. Good. C step back. Downward block two. Good. Then right leg. C step up. Lunge and punch. Try not to go forwards as much. If you go to the next line, it's not quite what I want you to do. Okay. It should be a little jump, if even that. Okay. A little bit more in your uh, C step. Reset. But that's better. So let's try that again from X wedge. Good. And then Shane, go ahead and scoot over a little bit that way. Good. And Ryan, scoot a little bit over this way. Good. So you're at X wedge. Good. Go C step back, down and block one. Left leg. C step back, down and block one. Left leg. Yeah, we're skipping the first couple of moves. Right leg. C step back, down and block two. Good. C step up, lunge and punch. And your other hand's already in home position here. Better. And you're, this time you're doing the same leg and punch. Good. Reset. Back in your spots. And that's the second set of your, uh, Oliver up here. That's the second set of your Red Dragon 1. Okay. And that's actually a little bit more than half of the card, which is pretty cool. Let's try that one more time from X Wedge. Then we'll put it all together. And then we'll move on to some bow stuff. Get ready. Now we're doing that, yes, because I'm going to talk you guys through it, then you're going to do it on your own. So you just went X wedge, show me double inside. Good, X wedge. Go C step back, left leg, down and block one. There you go, good. Make sure you're bending your knee in your good forward stance. All right. C step back, right leg, down and block two. Good. And the less sound that you make, the better, okay? Because remember, just like how in Tioga's, we never want to hear you guys thumping your feet like a zombie walk. We'd rather hear more of just sliding your feet. It's the same thing in Red Dragon, uh, Red Dragon 1, and any of your Red Dragon cards, really. So you're here, because we haven't done the lunge and punch yet. We're here. So Ryan, go ahead and scoot on back. Good. Go C step forward, lunge, and punch. And that's a little bit better. Reset. Good. Now let's do all of that on your own. Then we'll put it all together. Go from X wedge. Good. Get ready. Show me all of set two of Red Dragon 1. Get ready. And go. Double and play. Good. So I don't want to hear sound when you're C-stepping back. The whole point of a C-step is to drag your foot, not to make sound. Better. Reset. Now let's put all of that together from the beginning. So Oliver, remember, your spot's up here, kid. Look down at that. Memorize that patch of ground. <laughs> That's your spot. Good. Jam on your right. Let's put both set one and set two together, and that'll be more than half of Red Dragon 1. Get ready? Go jam on the right. Show me Red Dragon 1, all that you've learned. Get ready, Caitlin. Jam. Turn that other hand. Good. Get ready. And go. And look where you're hitting. Don't worry about other people. Good. So go. So remember, that was good. You just want to go feet together right after. So that's better. Good, finish strong. Good. Yep, one, two, three. Two, three. Okay. To the front. Double inside. Yep. X wedge, yep. C step back. Last couple moves. One, two, and lunge. Uh -huh. It's a bit better. Reset. Okay. Better. So that's more than half of Red Dragon 1. That's pretty cool. So we're going to teach you guys that. Uh, as well as, if you have your bow staff, go ahead and go grab your bow staff and come right back to your spot. Uh, raise your hand if you don't have a bow. And I'll get you guys a noodle. Noodle, noodle, noodle.
perfect. And then we'll go ahead and teach you guys some more of your bojutsu. Okay, you guys are actually learning the whole kata. This is one of your main things, uh, which is pretty cool because this is actually one of the cooler katas that you get to learn at your belt level. So everyone standing up tall, because remember, your bow staff isn't a toy. So just like when we taught you guys nunchuck, how we don't want you guys to be spinning it around, Orion, show me standing up tall, bow at your side. That's better. So you have to show me proper focus, because if not, I either take your bow or the noodle away. And you have to do it all with your hands. Okay, pretend. So show me good focus. Show me that you can be mature enough to use a bow staff, because this is a lot bigger of a weapon than your nunchuck, okay, as you can see. So it's a little bit more dangerous. What's up? As a color belt, yes. This will be your longest, biggest weapon, okay? Because the bow staff is a weapon of distance. Everyone say that. A bow staff is a weapon of distance. Okay, yes. Uh, we'll have, to, we'll have to talk to your parents and we'll see. Because, yeah, because you guys should try and get uh, a bow for yourselves soon. Soon, soon, soon. The sooner the better, because then you'll be able to learn normally. But for right now, that's fine. Okay? So, everyone standing up tall? Or make sure to hold, hold the bow out normally? Go ahead, remember, this is your traditional Japanese grip. Okay, you're always going to hold the bow like this. I never want you to let go and switch your grip because that's not proper form, okay? Even when you're doing something like a full body whip, you're just letting go a little bit to make it more comfortable. Your hand will feel weird at some point, but that's okay, because it's supposed to. So, holding it normally, show me bow at your side here. So already your left hand should feel a little bit strained, all right? Go standing up tall, and try and show me from here, bow at your side. Go other side and all over. So that's good, just go to the other side. Yeah, okay. And then Sophia, see how you switched your hand? Try and leave it like that, good, and then right against your side. Yeah, good. So right from here, this is how you do your bow. You're gonna bring your right hand forward and up as you bow and bring it around. You're spinning it around as you go. Good, then back up. That's better, however, just remember, since what you did, you practically stabbed yourself. So be careful, because when you get a real bow, you don't want to stab yourself. Yeah, you're going to go more to the side. Okay? And that whole time, you're not changing your grip. Your grip stays the same the whole time. Okay? You're just sliding your hands around on it. Because you should be able to move the bow all around your body and never have to let go of it. Okay? So that's better. Kind of. All right? But... Uh, Let's go ahead. So try to bow one more time. Bow's at your side. Good. Get ready. Holding the bow out here. There you go, Oliver. Better. Sophia holds it out. It's a bit better. Try and leave them on top. Yeah, there you go. Better. Go bow one. Back up. A little bit better. Good. So with your right leg, here's the first move of the kata. You're going to step out into a high dragon. Go stab to the front left corner. Big key. I go, aya! Stab one. Good. Go up horse stance. Hit one, two, three, four for your body whip. Have you guys already learned this? Perfect. All right, we're going to make it better. Bending your knees. From there, your bow goes against your body. Turn to the back. Right leg. Step. Go horse stance to the back. And body stab. Little stab. Is this new? Okay, that's fine. We'll do it this far then. Little stab. For this stab, you don't want to go past your body. It should only go, watch my hands. My left hand stops right at my body. I'm actually hitting myself a little bit here. That's how far it should go. Little stab. Okay, let's try that one more time. Reset, face in the front. Okay, and I'll do it this way. Yes. Yes, you're stabbing to the right. All right, so we're here. Good. Go bow. 
and back up. Good. Try the bow one more time, uh, Caitlin. So you're here. Bring it all the way around. Yeah, there you go. Because you're you're really spinning it. Okay, you're not just doing a little down bow. You're actually spinning it all the way around. Okay. Better. Good. So you're here. We just went bow. So now go step out to the corner. Go stab one. Aya. Good. All right. Your right arm should be extended all the way out. Your other hand's kind of here holding it. Go back up. Horse stance. Full body whip. Go hit one, two, three, four. Good. And make sure. Really fast. Everyone watch me just standing up tall. Am I ever going to hit anybody like this? No. No. Okay. I'm not extending the bow all the way across my body. So I want to see you guys. Now don't go too far. Okay, don't go too far out, but it should go past your body. If you look at yourself in the mirror as you're doing this, you should try and make the bow straight to where you can't even see it other than just the end. Okay, so you're going past your body a bit there. And as it goes up and down, same thing. It's straight. But better. So try those first couple moves and that body up one more time because those are the first moves of the kata, so you should want them to be your best ones. So get ready from here. Go bow. Back up, go step out, stab, one, aya. Good, horse stance, full body whip, one, two, three, four. Good, against your body. Turn, you're just turning your body. Step right leg to the back, horse stance, and stab. Good, and we'll do just that much for right now. Go ahead and reset. Right after you land in your horse stance, you go to stab. As you're stepping, it's just against your body until you're here, you stab. But good. Reset, face in the front. But pretty good. Okay. We got a little bit more time. So good. So uh, go ahead. We'll just do that a little bit for right now because um, that's all that we know for right now. Go ahead and put your bows down. Just quickly put it down. If you have a noodle, put it down. If you had another weapon, put it down with those, and you'll get it back, or you'll put it away later. And then run right back to your spot. So right back there. Okay, so pretty good. So now let's go ahead and do a little bit of some self-defense stuff, a little bit of review for you guys. So, uh, Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple moves of self-defense set two, and I want to do one move of self-defense set three. Or really, I just want to do one from each even. So the one move I want to do from self-defense set two is going to be locking arms. Say locking arm. Locking arm. Good, okay. So everyone, show me this in the air first. Now really quick, do it once with me, then you'll do it on your own, okay? Go step forward, rising block, one. Go ahead and make sure you're blocking up high, blocking with your arm. Good rising block. Switch other side all over. Switch your stance, switch your hands. Switch your feet, kids. There you go. Go lock two. Good. Make sure that whole time you want to hold them as tight as you can. Don't let them go. Because if you let them go even for a little bit, ah, they can go free. Go palm heel. Grab them. Good. Back leg. Come up. Sweep them. Push them down at the same time. Down to the knee. Grab their arm. Pull them up as you step up. Heel stomp. Hiya. Step back and check. Try and wrap your arms. Wrap your arms as you do the check. Reset. Good. Okay. Make sure the main thing I'm looking for is as you're sweeping them, don't just use your leg and that's it. Use both your leg and your hand at the same time. That's what's going to make them actually go down to the ground. Show me locking arm all on your own. Get ready. Standing up tall. Ready and go. And that's better. Make sure you're wrapping your arms for that check. That's looking a lot better. Good. So that's your move from self defense at two. Your other move that I want to do from self defense at three, a couple of you guys have learned it. This might be new for you three. Um, this one is called kimono grab. Say that. Say kimono grab. Good. Okay. So for kimono grab, this is a self defense move that's protecting from somebody trying to grab our kimono, or in English, what's called a top. Okay. Kimono is a Japanese is Japanese for top, which could be a gi top, a shirt, dress, whatever. So they're coming in, they're grabbing our kimono, 
Okay, so we're standing up tall, facing the front. You're going to show me. Do this. Hold on, let me make sure. This one. Okay, you're going to show me left arm come around, grab their wrist, and then you're going to pin them down against your body. So their hands are against their body here. We can't, they can't get away. You're going to step back. Right hand comes up onto their arms. You're going arm break. You're pushing their arms up. Now remember, your arms only bend this way. So if you bend that way, that's how you break them. Arm break one, come around, knock their arms down. Two, step in, shudo chop three, and then set of four. Elbow smash, hammer fist, back kick, turn, wrap, and check. That's better. Try that one more time with me and then on your own. All right? Yes? Yes. So if you have them here and their their hands are still pinned against your body, all right, and a little bit of their arms, when you go back and you when you're stepping back, you're straightening out their arms. This is actually the arm break, which is actually breaking their arms. And then the next move is knocking them off you. Yeah. Okay. So try that. Try kimono grab. Let's do it. Say kimono grab. Kimono grab. Good. Okay. So they're coming in. They're going to grab us. Show me left arm around. Go grab. Pin. Step back. Arm break one. Good. All the way around. Knock down two. Shoot a chop three. And set a four. Grab. Elbow smash. Hammer. Ah! Back kick and check. Better. Try that on your own. It's one of the easier ones in self defense at three. That's a pretty quick move as well. So get ready, standing up tall. Show me. Come on, no grab. Face in the front. Get ready. And so your left hand. Go. Grab, step. Shoot the chop. Set of four. Better. Good. And reset. Pretty good. Okay, so that's just kind of like a little bonus move. Uh, have you learned that before, Oliver? Yeah, yeah, you can go have it, but or you have you two. That was new, right? Or you might have done it once in the past when I had you guys all grouped together, but more in detail to today. But pretty good. It's a it's a easier one and a fun one too. So good, 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 good. Okay. So now, since there's six of you guys here. Um, and we're about five minutes out here. We're going to go ahead um, and get you guys all squared off in a way. So everyone's standing up tall. Good. And then we'll give you guys your mat chat really fast. So here, actually, yeah, everyone, show me lock it up. Good. Okay. So pretty good. We got through all of our stuff today, which is awesome. So remember, this whole week, and this is uh, going to be all these next following weeks, are our spirit weeks. All right. And you can get earned points by doing different things. So one of the ways you can earn points, the easiest way is by showing up to class. Like just for showing up to class today, all of you guys are getting 50 points. Okay. You can also get points by showing up in your red, white, and blue spirit gear, just like how today or this whole week is red, white, and blue week. So just like Vince and Shane, they're all America up. All right. You guys will get points for that. Um, so that's another 50 points for you guys. And then the other way of getting points also uh, that you can tell your parents about is if they take a picture of you, I believe, and post it on our Facebook group. While you're in class, you can get more points, um, among other ways as well that we post on Facebook. What's up? Yes, we actually have a paper that we've been keeping track of you guys when you show up to class. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then on Thursday, since that's our last class, Thursday night, we're going to do a drawing, um, and we'll be giving away different prizes uh, for who has like the most points and stuff like that. All right, sound cool, yes and say? So it's kind of like our cool spirit weeks. We're doing all this stuff during the summer for you guys. Next week is going to be water week. All right, so that's one's going to be really fun. We're going to have water guns here that we'll get to squirt you with. Uh, if you're on Zoom and you have water guns at home, your parents can do that to you guys as well. When you're not watching or if you're slacking off, your parents can pew pew shoot you with a water gun, wake you up. Um, but it'll be pretty fun for you guys as well uh, for next week. What's up? You have water balloons? Well, if you're going to do that, make sure that it's easy to clean up, all right? But, I mean, it's water, so it's harmless. But um, that's pretty good. So that's going to be next week. Uh, and then we'll be doing these every single week. We'll be doing a different spirit week. Um, as it comes up, we'll be announcing what you guys have to do to get those points. And then, like I said, just showing up to class, you get points as well. 
but your guys' goal to be should be to get as many points as you can. What's up? It's a good question. I believe all three. Just to make it because it's red, white, and blue week, so it makes the most sense. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You guys kind of get a free pass because you have a blue belt. So I mean, I don't know. Talk to Miss Allison. She'll she'll d decide your fate. But uh, that's pretty cool. That's for this week. Everyone, go ahead and stand up. So good job today. We got to do a lot of stuff. We got to do more than half of your Red Dragon 1, which is awesome. You guys are learning that really quickly. It's a fun little kata that you can learn. Uh, and then if you remember from last week, I believe it was, last Tuesday, when I taught you guys that kind of little tournament ending, this is a perfect kata to actually add that onto at the end. Uh, so we'll probably get to do that maybe in the future. We're also learning your bow staff. So uh, if you have one, that's great. You guys can practice at home. If not, try and get a bow staff as soon as you can. Um, and you'll be ready for in class learning the whole kata. Okay? So, blue and purple belts. Standing up tall. Let's see here. Highest rank. Shane, go ahead and bow us out. Kios Kit. So, I touch say, listen, everyone clapping for you guys. Woohoo! Good job. Blue through purple belts. All right? So, uh, go ahead and get your weapons and everything together and then just stand at your spot and then I'll excuse you guys one at a time. Okay, so get your weapons and everything, come right back to your spot. If you had a pool noodle, grab that as well, uh, and I'll tell you what to do with that in a second. That's good. So, Caitlin, go ahead and bow one out. Go to that last orange line, and Miss Allison will help you out. Go to Ryan, go ahead and bow one out. Same thing. Good, and then if you have a pool noodle, I'm just going to have you guys put it right by the door here, right by these blue bags. So, Sophia, go ahead, and you'll just put your pool noodle right there. Yep, and then go ahead and bow one out. Oliver, go ahead. Good, Vince and Shane, go ahead. Yeah, and then just leave your punal and wait by each of those last orange lines. I didn't take that. What's up? When you come for what? Tomorrow is going to be on Zoom. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday is only Zoom. Monday, Wednesday is all in class. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing like a Facebook video. We'll we'll figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, did you get your nunchuck, Shane? Okay, cool. Yeah, you left it here, and I was like, whose is this? And I just looked at the bottom and had your initials. sure why it's doing that because we have some people who have been able to hop in here um go ahead and retry it really quickly and then if that doesn't work we can just send you another link um with the youtube video still no uh sorry about that so yeah i'll go ahead and send you another link uh to this number okay let me go ahead and do that um
Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, of course. And we're just getting the kids in here, so Declan won't be late or anything. Mm -hmm. And that one was sent today? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's do it. Let's go ahead. So I'll send that YouTube link. It looks like the number we have on file for you is, uh, or it would be the same number as this, right? Uh, could you repeat that for me? Mm-hmm. 487. 0230. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and send that YouTube link again to that number, um, and we'll get you all squared off there. Of course, no worry. All right, we'll see Declan in a little bit. Bye-bye. Jaden, we got you in here. Dylan, you rascal. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put your weapons down right there. And then I'll put you right over here. Okay. Cool. And then Dylan, hopefully you can hear me better. Uh, we got headphones now. So you can kind of the microphone's here now, so it's a bit easier to hear, hopefully. All right, if you can respond, maybe say that it's easier or worse. I don't know. Hopefully it's not worse, but hopefully it's better than it was. Okay, so it looks like we got Jaden here. Uh, is there anyone else outside, Miss Allison? No, not today. Today it's a slower class. Usually this is our bigger class. 
Uh, and then we got four people online. Uh, so cool. But uh, Mr. Jaden, go ahead. You're going to turn face the front for me. Good. And then, uh, okay, cool. And you're all spirited up. That's awesome. Nice shirt. Uh, so since it's mainly me and you, and then we got everyone at home, they'll just be following along with whatever we do. Uh, it's so much better. Perfect. That means it's working. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's warm you up first, and then we'll go ahead and get onto our regularly scheduled uh, programming. So um, we're going to go ahead and do your uh, cool warm up that we had you do on. You were here on Monday, right? Yeah, you were here on Monday because you like. But uh, I'm not sure if we did it in your class or not. But we our warm up of the week for this week. It's called, uh, or it's not called anything. But it's going to be three dragon drops, three flip kicks on each side, and three jumping jacks. So here, let's try that once together. If you're at home following along, do it with us. Follow along. So show me three dragon drops. You're going to jump up in the air. Feet go back. So that's one. Good. Then go two. Same thing. And yeah, if you want to do the push-up to have that extra little exercise in it, you're more than welcome to. On your third one, hands come up. Go three flip kicks on your right. Switch hands on their side, three flip kicks on your left, one, two, three, leaving your leg up, then three jumping jacks, itch, knee, son, to finish off. All right. You guys are going to do that for 30 seconds. So you should try and get through it as many times as you can. And then you'll go all the way through. All right. Much better sound. Perfect. So uh, go ahead, face in the front. Uh, Jaden, you'll be like our leader here. And if you're at home, try and beat Jaden. All right, <laughs> no pressure. Get ready? So show me all of those exercises. Three dragon drops, three flip kicks each side, and three jumping jacks. Get ready, and go for 30 seconds. And then Miss Allison, can you throw me that water bottle that's right over there? Yeah, in the corner. Perfect, thank you. Good, keep it going for five, four, three, two, and freeze. Yay. Okay, cool. Do you think you beat them? Do <laughs> you think it's the same? Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, okay, it looks like we got Val at the door, Ms. Allison. So, um, cool. So, let's go ahead. That's your main warm up of the week all right we'll try and have a different one every week for you guys so that's your first thing your other thing that we're going to go ahead and warm you guys up with today this is going to be your kick challenge of the week all right so we're trying to do a, both a warm-up and a kick challenge every week for you guys to get you guys exercising a bit more and learning some different kicks and stuff let's move the camera over there a bit run val run Did you put your shoes down good we're waiting for you val Get in here. Weapons down at the front, right there. Master, or first class brown belt and late. Everyone boo her at home. Don't actually do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> huh? All right. See, that's dedication. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You're only 10 minutes late. <laughs> but that's okay. So, um, it's okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, now we got Val here as well. We got two people here and five people at home, six people at home. Wow. wow. We're moving up in the world. Okay. And we actually have a like now. So <laughs> face in the front. Now we're going to go ahead. What's up? I don't know. Hopefully, maybe. I think we have like a hundred, but, uh, now let's go ahead and do our kick challenge. Okay. So you missed our warm up. So this will be your warm up. So for your kick challenge, you're going to do three kicks. We've done them before. We did it in our tournament set that I got to teach you guys last week. But this is going to be your snap kick, 
chicken kick, pop front kick. Okay, that whole three kicks. It should look a lot better than I just did it. What's up? It's fine. These two know what they're doing, right? You better. Yeah, we did it again. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do our kick challenge. Um, 30 seconds again, show me hands up. If you're at home, same thing. Just be careful. Um, don't hit anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, very specific, but yes. <laughs> ah, yeah, don't do that. Hands up. Good. So show me all three of those kicks. 30 seconds. Try and do as many as you can. Try and jump up as high as you can. Get ready and go. So one, two, and three. Good. Try and leave your hands up as you're doing the kick. It'll make you keep your balance better and do it overall better. All right. Keep it going. Good. And make sure when you're doing that jump kick, try and tuck in your knee. Yeah, that's good, Jane. It makes your kick look that much better. And try and land in that horse stance downward block just like we did. Uh, before. So keep going. Try another couple times. Good. There you go, Val. And then any of you first class brown belts who passed your test at home and are watching, hopefully you heard all that as well. So like Sente was saying, we're going to try and test you guys by the end of this month for your black belts. The time is now. It's only three months late. You guys got robbed, but oh well. Well, it'd be better to do it now. Um, but... Uh, so yeah, this whole class then pretty much, we're just going to run through everything that you guys know. Now, of course, since these two are actually here, they're going to be like biased towards what they know. If they know something and we're doing something that you guys don't know, you can either do one of two things. You can try it with us, practice something else. Uh, yeah, one of those two things, try and sponge or practice with us. But most of the stuff you guys should know that they're about to do because we're going to do a lot of review. So, we're going to play a little game I like to call Earn Your Belt. So, basically, normally I'd have a card and it'd be during testing. Uh, and you'd fill out everything in that level that says, like, testing for yellow belt, orange belt, stuff like that. And once you fill that out, you earn that belt. And by the end of the class, if you don't earn all the way up to your normal belt, I take away your belt and give you the other one. Uh-huh. Well, then you get an orange belt, so I see you go all the way back up to brown belt. <laughs> I've never had to do it before. Well, you wouldn't. That's the point, then. You'd do it at brown belt. All right. But good. So, face in the front. So, let's go ahead and start off. Tayoga four. Wrap your arms. Tight fist. Everyone should know this. If you're watching, you guys should all know Tayoga four perfectly. Maybe not perfectly, but really well. Get ready and go. Make sure I'm looking for your good forward stances. Good. Make sure your key eyes, Val. And make sure you're key eyeing at home. 
Even if I can't see or hear you, I still want you guys to key on. Good. Good, good, good. So, nice and easy, Tioga forward. Next one is Juan Su. All right, we're jumping up to yellow orange. Bow, or go do the bow. Get ready, and go. Good, keep going. Good, satisfied with that. Pretty good. Just make sure, uh, two main stances, box stance, forward stance, something I want you guys to get really good at, and you, it was fairly well, but make sure, you guys have this switch well, but watch the top of my head as I do this. I'm in my box stance here. I move up a little bit with the forward stance. Okay, it's not that much, but it's the little things and they stack up. So try your best to stay as low as you can as you're going into it. You should try and stay low and level that entire set, okay? And never come up or down, okay? Yeah, and it'll start to make your leg stronger because it's actually uh, just like Honku Show when you do this whole set and you have to stay low the entire time. It's actually making your legs a lot stronger that way, okay? But good. Next one is single nunchuck. Go grab a single nunchuck and run right back. Quick, run. You two at home, grab a single nunchuck and come right back. And then, yeah, the view's pretty good, actually. <laughs> trying to get the toss into the other hand, catch around. And your tricks and kicks toss. Let me grab a nunchuck really quick. Do you remember the whole set that we taught you, Jaden? And tricks and kicks, the whole down, across, up. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. One, two, cross, back up, kind of. Yeah, and then you guys are trying to do the toss in one hand, catch in the other. It's hard. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead, kind of. Show me single nunchuck kata shodan. Nunchuck out in front of you. Get ready. And go. Gotta make sure to stay low and level. Go ahead, try and key eye. Good, lock out your good knife edge here. Okay, pretty good. A couple things really quick. So when you're doing your around the world set, go jam or wrap ball. Horse stance to the front, wrap. So show me fig eight. Go down, up, catch underneath the arm. Good. Turn first, then lock out your side kick. Recoil here. Same thing. Fig eight, down, up, catch. Turn side kick. And then you do that all the way around the room. Reset. 
you were doing something a little weird. You did it out of order, and then you caught in your hand, which that's not the weirdest thing. You can do that, but what's up? No, you were fine. You just need to lock out your knife edge a little bit more. And make sure you both need to do this turn before you sidekick. Otherwise, you're just going from here. It doesn't look as good. Okay. Looks a lot better if you turn before you sidekick. The other thing was at set four, all right, go figure eight, or we're here actually. Figure eight, catch, leg check, palm, step and punch, down to the knee, hammer fist. Now you're spinning the opposite way. So right from here, you're going to keep your eyes on them, come up, downward block, opposite way. Yeah. So you're never looking away from them. Then punch into the next set. Okay, so that was a little thing I saw you do. Because if you spin that way, the opposite way, you're taking your eyes off of the bad guy, whoever you're hitting. Okay. Uh, but other than that, good. Go ahead and put your nunchuck down. We'll come back to these a little bit later. And then come back out with a bow staff. Okay. Not right now. We'll, if we have time, we'll get to that, but we're doing everything uh, in order. You didn't see that. <laughs> yes, we're doing All these marks are from bow staff. Some of them are from swords, but most, most of these are from bow staffs. Well, in a lot of black belt katas, you'll do funky stuff where you'll do like baseball swings or different things. Yeah, and you'll... It's not the strongest though. Yeah, that's one of the moves. Yep. And then also after some of those, there's like figure eights with the bows, which are weird to do because it's a really long. Yep. And if it's a longer bow, you could easily hit the ceiling right in there. Yep. So anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move on. Show me bow jitsu shodan. Okay, bow like this. At your side, make sure you're leaving that Japanese grip till the very end. Show me budget to show it on and go. Key eyes. Yep. Okay. Better? Just remember, because you both got a little lost uh, after here. Go to here. Stab to the back. Horse stance. Turn forward stance. Hit one, two. Go step to the back. Down to the knee. Yeah, you got the other way where you do the block and the round. That's American bow form one. And American bow form one, but not in bojitsu. They have similar things, but they're a little bit different. Yep, it'd be right after there. You would go here against the body and then, yep, around. So they're similar, but they're a little bit different. So you don't want to confuse them uh, between each other. Yeah, it'd be one, two, three. Step overhead. Ah, if I can grab it. Okay. Step around. And then you do that whole thing. Okay. Which we'll get to do a little bit later. If we get to it. I'm satisfied with Bojitsu. Just remember also. Show me bow. Show me the first move of the kata and give me a loud ki. Aya. Okay, that's a power move. First move of the kata. Ki on it. Okay. But other than that, I'm satisfied. Go put your bows down and run right back. We're moving up in level, in belt level. It's like brown belt, yeah. We're only at blue belt so far. 
Red Dragon 1's next. All the stuff that you guys have learned is already in that. We just spread it out. Purple Belt? No, it's not. Purple Belt would be right here. It would be right here. We'll get it eventually. But uh, it's right after Blue. So, Red Dragon 1. Okay, because there's too many things that we used to teach at Blue Belt. Bow Staff, Red Dragon 1 and 2, Double Nunchucks. So we split it up. All right, yeah. And then there's too much stuff that... And then there'd be too many brown belts. So we wanted to give it more time before they all just pile up. It doesn't always work like that. Because think of how many first class brown belts we have right now. A lot. They're the belt that we have the most of. It may be weird to think about, but it is. Okay. Anyways. Red Dragon 1. Jam. Remember, inside block punches to the front, rising block punches to the back. Get ready, and go. Show me good forward stances, bending your knees. Okay, not bad. Two things. So number one, you got a little loss at part, and we'll go over that. Uh, just try to call it with me, because there's some stuff I want to point out. So go jam on the right. Go step out, inside block, punch one, freeze. Okay, make sure number one, you're in the good forward stance, and number two, you're always punching opposite hand, and your other block, you don't want your inside block to be too far down or too far into your body. It's kind of at like a happy medium. The whole point of an inside block you can block, you can either bring it down to block your ribs and your kidneys, or you can bring it up to block your head. Okay, you can do either. So it's actually a really good block. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. It's kind of in the middle. Jam on the left. Left, yeah. Because then you're going to go C-step forward, inside block punch, all the other side. You always uh, jam whichever hand is going to be on the bottom, that's the one that's going to punch. Okay, it's just like if you have your hands in home position, you're punching when the bottom, same thing here. Okay, feet together, jam on the right, go one, two, three to the back, side kick, lock out your kick, recoil, step, inside block, punch. Okay, your main problem, when you did the kata, you knew everything you were doing, but you're doing it a little too fast. I want you guys to slow down, show each stance and jam in between it, so you're giving it a mo bit more power, uh, and maybe a little bit slower, but it's also a lot stronger, and it looks a lot better overall. Okay, keep going. Jam in the whole thing, one, two, three, to the back, side kick, recoil to the front, X wedge. Double inside, this part you forgot a little bit, X wedge, left leg goes back first, C step back, downward block, yep, C step back, downward block again, these are both forward stances. There you go, Jane, better. Then back leg, C step up, lunge and punch. Good, and your other hand comes back to home position. Good, and then feet together, jam, good, and then the rest of it was good. Okay, so just that first and second set of Red Dragon 1, a little bit, take your time a little bit more, and then don't forget the whole 1, 2, 3 in that, okay? And don't forget to step back on the right leg either, because <laughs> that was the other thing. But not bad, not bad, okay? And that's, uh, not bad. Your next one is Red Dragon 2, okay? So good, facing the front. So Red Dragon 2, it flips. Now it's rising block punches to the front, inside block punches to the back. Okay, go leg check jam. Show me Red Dragon 2. Get ready, and go. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're doing a little bit of a one-two skip a few. So here, reset. Let's try this together. So there's a couple things. Okay. This one is a weirder one because we don't usually teach it as much other than Black Belt Club. Uh, I know for a fact you learned it because I taught it to you when you transferred. This was one of the things I taught you first when we did our lessons together. 
And I know you know this because you know everything pretty much. You've been here the longest. You know practically everything. Okay. So, left leg, leg check jam. Step out to the corner, rising block punch, forward stance one. Jam leg check, rising block punch, forward stance two. X horse stance wedge. One, two, double palm heel. Around. It's like you're moving your hands like a clock that goes to the side. Turn high dragon, down. Around. Turn high dragon, down. Parry block, step back, inverted shield chop. Okay. Then feet together, jam. Here's your kick set. Cool thing about every red dragon, they all have a kick set. Okay. Uh, two and three, it's the same thing. You're standing up. Three is a little different. Uh, one is the most different because you have moves in between it. So we're here. Go one, two, three. Side kick, step over. One, two, three. Side kick, recoil to the back. Inside block punch, you're in the forward stance again, so make sure you're bending your front knee here. Good. Jam, C-step forward. Inside block punch, too. Good. And then feet together, jam. Good. Okay. X, wedge. Horse stance. Yep. And then here's your whole crazy set. Both hands come in first. Good. You're going to go elbow smash, back fist, ridge hand, feet together, punch. Better. Jam on the right, back to the front. Now it's back to rising block punches. Rising block punch one, jam, C-step forward, rising block punch two. Jam, C-step forward, rising block punch three. Make sure you're bending your front knee. Show me your best forward stances here. Hands come to your chest, back up, go back leg, knee smash, step, jam on the right, turn, inside block punch to the side, jam, C-step, inside block punch two, feet together, jam. Other way, your left leg is going to spin towards the back, towards the uh, left side of the dojo. Inside block punch one, jam, C step, inside block punch two. Feet together, jam. Good. You're going to go X, wedge to the front. X, feet together, wedge. Oof. And that's Red Dragon 2. Okay. Try it one more time on your own now. Whole way through. Okay. Because it was in there, you guys kind of knew what you were doing, but it's probably been a while since you've done it. Okay, so it was a little jumbled up. Okay, so try it. Go leg check jam. Get ready. Red Dragon 2. And go. Good. Keep going. Good. Yep, kick set. Better, good. Yep, back to the front. And it switches up. Hmm, what's before that? Then. Inside block punch, jam, inside block punch. Other side, same thing. One, two. X wedge to the front. A little bit better. So just that ending, okay? But the cool thing about this kata is since we teach it usually in Black Belt Club, it's more of an extra thing. I just did it since you both know it. Um, but you don't necessarily need it. But the cool thing about your Black Belt test is if you know extra things like this, uh, fast hand sets, uh, twin multiple sets, bonus stuff like that, uh, it's an additional, uh, whatever they're called, qualification, additional kata. So say you mess up on something like Red Dragon 1, but you know Red Dragon 2 and you do it well, it can kind of cover that. Okay. What do, what don't you need to do? You mean? Yeah. Red Dragon two, twin multiple sets, fast hand sets, uh, Aikido. So yeah, because you don't need to. If you're in uh, Black Belt Club, they, like we're teaching that right now in Black Belt Club, but you would learn that probably at Black Belt. So you guys are fine. But uh, kind. Of. Yeah, both fighting sets you don't need to know. Kendo fighting sets you don't need to know. Um, 
But yeah. You were taught a bow fighting set, I remember. But I think we taught you ours as well. But that's not something we'll do. Don't worry. Kind of. Yeah, that's in the second bow fighting set. So you, I know you've learned it because I've seen you do it before. Um, okay, but good. So that's Red Dragon 2. Next one, go ahead and grab your double nunchucks. Come right back. Let's see here. What time is this class then? Let's go to 7.30? Or 7.30, wait. <coughs> 45, ah. Okay. So this will probably be our last thing that we do because um, we're running out of time. But we got halfway through, which is good. So, show me double nunchuck Kata Shodan. Okay. With your roll. You can skip it if you need to. Okay. Just be careful. I don't want you to hurt your leg again. Okay. You'll be fine if you skip it. Okay. Okay. Just be careful. Just be careful. So, get ready. Go bow. And go. Good, make sure you're bending your knees. Good. Good. Pretty good to enough the motion. Good. And yeah, if you know the advanced one, do the advanced ending. If not, it's all right. Okay. Better. Okay. Uh, I'll just do one and then imagine anyone. Okay. So, couple things. So, number one, uh, slow down a little bit. That's something you guys can do in the kata. But also go back to da, 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 da. it would be right one two three so here go figure eight catch leg check double punch draw back you're gonna go figure eights first three steps back one one thousand two one thousand three interrupt the motion three steps forward one one thousand two one thousand three land and catch. Good, go high dragon, high dragon. One, two, leg check, other direction. Double punch, draw back, same thing. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Interrupt in motion, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Land, now this is gonna be quick. You're gonna do horse stance, down, up, catch. Good, and then you go into the next set, okay? So just that little set there, you didn't do your Figure eights. Um, and also, I wanted you both to bend your knees and take your time a little bit more on those high dragons. Okay. But better. So, um, good. I learned that pretty good. Go ahead and put those down. Good. Are you guys staying for tricks and kicks today? All right. Oh, cool. Okay, we'll we'll do light stuff. Okay, that's good. So, um, pretty good. Overall, good job. We got all the way up to master blue belt. We did everything in blue belt. We would have done gotten the purple belt, which would have been. Uh, 
No, actually, we got the purple belt. Next up would have been green belt stuff, which would have been Red Dragon 3, commas. We would have skipped American Belt from 1, because we'd just do it in 2. But yeah. Yeah, because in American Belt Form 2, you do American Belt Form 1. And then once you learn American Belt Form 3 is a black belt, you put all three together. And that's the whole kata. Because technically, American Belt Form 1 and 2 don't exist. It's all just three. But we just teach you parts. It's long, and as you keep going, it gets more advanced. Because one's easier, that's, so that's why we used to teach it. We don't do it anymore. We used to teach it at Green Belt. American Belt Form 2 is more advanced, so we teach that brown belt. Now we just teach it. Yes, I believe so. I'm not sure if it's the end, but I know that you do it. No. Maybe. There, a lot of them at Black Belt tend to be similar to other stuff. Maybe similar, maybe a little different. But other than that, uh, that's the whole class. Thank you, Tom. So good job. Uh, before we bow you guys out, go ahead and show me lock it up. And make sure if you're at home listening, so both of you guys lock it up. So remember, this whole week and these following next couple of weeks are all of our spirit weeks. So like today, how Jaden, Jaden, go ahead and stand up, face the camera. Just see how like Jaden has his red, white, and blue shirt, his American Independence Day shirt. Uh, that's our spirit week for this week. You can go ahead and lock it up. Good job. <laughs> Good. Uh, is our red, white, and blue week. So if you come dressed in red, white, and blue apparel, um, you can get points. Uh, you also get points by just showing up to class. So like you two get 50 points just for showing up to class. Okay. So at the end of the week on Thursday, uh, at the end of that day, we're going to do a, a giveaway with different prizes and stuff. Um, and depending on how many points you have, we'll w weigh into that. Um, we'll release more information about that as it goes, because this is our first Spirit Week. And we'll be having one of these each week. So, like, next week is going to be our water week. So, um, we're going to have, like, water guns up here that we'll get to spray you guys in class or at home. If you guys have water guns at home, mom and dad can hold them while you're doing class if they want, eh, maybe not, <laughs> but uh, they can spray you, or if you're not paying attention or something, you're dozing off, they can pew pew, wake you up with a little bit of water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, that'll be our spirit week for next week as well. And there are a bunch of different ways to earn points, showing up to class, dressing in our spirit and stuff, um, as well as if your parents take a picture of you guys, post it on our Facebook group while you're in class, you get more points that way and a bunch of other stuff. So um, other than that, just a little bit of some bonus information. And then like we were saying earlier, if you're a first class brown belt, we're making calls to you guys as well about this. Um, and you guys already did your written test. We'll be doing your uh, physical test very, very soon, at the end of this month. And we'll be calling you guys with more information on that. But good. Most of you guys have already probably gotten called. Go ahead and stand up. We've been doing that pretty much all day. So let's go ahead and bow you guys out for this class, and then we'll get ready for the next class. Feels good. Feels good. Great. Domorigato. Doi Good job, green and brown belts. You guys are all done. Woohoo! Yay! Good. Cool. And then you guys are staying for chicks and kicks, so you're fine. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. What did you say? For us? For me? I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe a different time. I don't think you can make a ladder out of noodles. I don't think that works. Well, yeah, we do that with the penguin slides. We do that with the bags. You haven't done that before? I swear you have at a parent's night out. Yeah, penguin slides. 
Because we've done it before, or like when we used to do movie nights. Do you remember those? Yeah, I didn't really remember those. No? I only worked with Yeah, I think we talked about it. Mm-hmm. But I was still working like with Jada. Mm-hmm. I, I, we might have done I it. I don't know. It's only been a while since I've seen that. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I it's been a while. Like Jedi's. Jedi's. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while since we did those. Uh, anyways, so let's see if we got anyone else saying in the chat here. I don't know if you're still here, Dylan, but Spirit Weeks, it's just where we're doing different stuff, like I was explaining, to where you can either come show, show up to class dressed up or do other stuff. Um, I believe it's on Facebook as well, but, um, yeah. Well, it's just a small thing. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like it's going to be me teaching you guys. So let's go ahead. Um, no. well, there's a couple people watching. Uh, go ahead and grab a single nunchuck. Let's do some stuff with this. Okay, so go ahead and go back to your spots. Okay. So, uh, let's do a couple stuff with the nunchuck um, for some tricks and stuff. So, first thing I want to do to make sure that we know, go ahead and try and show me a wrist roll with the nunchuck. Show me it, because I know you can do, you know, back and forth. Try it, Val. Uh, yeah, don't do it too far. You want to grab it more towards the middle of the nunchuck. And you bring it around. You should grab it so it's opposite. You don't want it to go all the way around your wrist. Only halfway. There you go. And then from there, you want to be able to spin it around back the other way. Ow! Not too much. It depends. Uh-huh. Careful. Because once you get better with it, it's almost like you're just letting it spin around your hand and you're not even really grabbing it. So, but, um, kind of, sort of. So, yeah. But. You did a what? What's that? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's pretty cool. Um, but good. So that's one thing with your nunchuck. The other thing, you guys were trying to do it earlier. Um, so yeah, so how you do that is like this. So you have it here, okay? So you're almost standing at an angle to the side because you want it. The main thing about it is that you're throwing it straight up to where you want it to be able to land right to where your hand is so you can go behind your back and grab it, okay? So you got to trust it because the worst thing that happens it hits your head. Okay. And if you, as long as you don't throw it very hard, it's not going to hurt. Okay. So you're really just throwing it a little bit behind your back so then you can grab it. And your main goal is to grab it so when it's upright. Good. Now you just got to try and get it upright. Because later on uh, in a black belt kata, I think single nunchuk kata nidon, maybe sandon. Uh, it has this in it where you have to actually throw it up in the air. That counts. 
then you can kind of fix it really quick. But yeah, you have to be able to throw it up in the air and then grab it behind your back. Uh, not usually. Usually you just do the front to back. I'm sure you can, because you can make, realistically, you can make your own kata. Yeah. Mm hmm Do you remember it? Some parts? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can even, uh, like if you guys have ever seen Sensei Jack compete with his sword kata, he made that. Yeah, kind of... yeah. you can compete with your own. Well, not like that, because it's probably not going to look very good, unless you're a prodigy. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so um. Not bad. So here, uh, something else that we can go ahead and do, go ahead and grab your bow staff. I want to teach you a little set. It's kind of a cool little set that you can do with a bow. I did it earlier, actually. Okay. So here. So for this bow staff little thing, so here, show me holding the bow staff normally. So you're gonna do your American grip for this where they're opposite, your opposite hold. And then um, how you're actually doing this, so I did it earlier, is you're putting one of your hands on the end and your thumb is on it. And what you actually have to do is you're pushing it into your hand and bring it around your body. So kind of, you kind of have to contort your arm around. So here, try this. Yeah, there you go. So here, hold it normally. Shift your arm down, thumb on top. Okay, you're gonna go push so you can turn your arm, turn your arm around, bring your hand back and behind. Yep. You kind of do, okay? Because it's uh, you're bringing your arm around. Realistically, you should be able to move your body like that to where it's not too bad, okay? And it can actually be kind of a stretch as well if you really put your whole body into it. Yeah. So anyways, go back to here. So try it again from here. So you're holding it almost like you're starting to do both fighting sets. So you're gonna go, and here, in your stance, if you're on a horse stance, you're gonna go push, turn with your body here, around, come back, bring it behind your body. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then you want to be diagonal here, because what you're gonna do let go of the bow here so it's just in your thumb and your hand so you're relaxed and with your back hand here you're going to push it up and grab it okay kind of kind of more of ballista but yeah so yeah so you're here so you want to be able to push it up and grab it at least towards the bottom okay because if you're doing it normally you would be here and you would be doing this or more of pushing it down and grabbing it. Well, yeah, but you have to be able to do it. You should be able to do it blindfolded 
or with your eyes closed? Okay. So if you do the first move, bring it behind your back, and then push it up with your back hand. Yep, your back hand that's behind your body, all you're doing with your hand is you're literally just pushing it forward and propelling it. So it, grab it and bring it up, hold it here like a baseball bat, and then feet together. Kind of. So here, watch me. So if you're here, you go push, pull around. You're going to switch your grip when you grab it. But you want to bring the side that you grabbed as you're here. This side. If I can grab it. Well, <laughs> you didn't see that. You can see the whole thing. This side that you're grabbing here comes all the way up and around. Okay. Try that. So you're here. Go push, pull back behind your back. Leave this hand here, but you're letting go. See, I'm almost making a circle so it can travel easily. Push it up and grab towards the end. So you want to grab a little bit farther towards the end. Yeah. Then you're going to bring it around, speed together up, and grab the other end. And then grab normally. Almost. So you're doing a little bit, you're doing a kind of a little quick move. So instead, what I want you to do, because you should literally swing it around. So freeze right there. Go back to here and freeze it here right after you push it. Go push. Freeze. Bring the bottom of the bow up and around. And then grab. Yeah, there you go. Good. Try it, Val. Go back to here. And here, actually, Jaden, go ahead and move over here. And Val, come right here so I can see you guys better in the mirror. Yeah, so go to here, Val. So go push up and grab. A little bit better. Then you're going to bring that end, whip your hand up and around, and grab it with the other hand. Yeah, good. And then switch. Good. Try just that a couple times. That whole little set. So one, two, three, four. And try those four moves. A little better, then. Try and put your body into it now as well. So you're here. You want to try and move around as you're going. Okay, because this is actually in the black belt uh, bow kata. I'm not sure if it's Bojitsu Sanban or American Bow Form 3. But then one of them. Probably in American Bow Form 3. But yeah, try that a couple times. So one. Oh, good. Better. So now, from there, so go ahead and do that one more time. Go one, two, three, four. We're here, feet together, grabbing it. Uh, scoot over a little bit back over here. So watch me first. You're going to go step baseball swing one around. And then after you go swing one, you're going to bring your right hand down and go figure eight. So go right from here, step baseball swing into figure eight. So you don't spin through. I know what you feel like you can't should. And realistically, you could, but you don't need to. It's an extra move. And then you go figure eight with that hand. So the way to do that then, if it's too big, because realistically, you should be able to do this to where you're just moving your hand around, but you'll never hit the floor or the ceiling. OK, you got to be able to move your hand the opposite to it. So yeah, so see, when it's coming, my hand's low. When it's coming down, I bring my arm up. When it's coming up, I bring my arm down. And I just use the momentum. Okay, it's almost like a uh, water wheel. You guys know what a water wheel is. <laughs> yeah, usually they were for power, but you're moving your arm across and spinning it, and you're actually making two circles. That's kind of a cool little move there. 
it will hurt your hand a little bit, but that's it's all right. But yeah, but that's the whole little set. You're going one, two, three, four, five, figure eight. And then the last move, so go back to figure eight. It's satisfying. Back to figure eight, you're going to grab it, go figure eight, and then grab, step, overhead. And that's it. The whole little trick set. Now, if you're at home following along with this, be very careful in your house. Don't hit anything, especially with that baseball swing. That's the hard part. Yeah. Yeah, you can work a bird. The only problem with the Jodo is you can't do the first move, really. But practicing the baseball swing, yeah, you could definitely use a Jodo. So try that a couple times. I'm going to teach you a nunchuck set that I taught Jaden, so I'll remind you and I'll teach you it now. And then these are just kind of cool little things that you can add on to like different katas or weapons that you've learned. Just like how I taught you that tournament ending for whatever kata you want, you can add it onto. You can add this into an American bill form kata. You can add uh, whatever what the nunch, nunch excuse me the nunchuck set I'm about to teach you. You can add that into a kata. Different stuff. Technically, yes. Technically, yes, you could. There are different forms that I've seen, that I've judged, where I've had somebody who did three different weapons in one kata. So it's realistically, if you make it like that and you can perform it, then yeah. No reason you can't. Kind of. You can, if you can be and pull it off. <laughs> See, that's a gray area, because I want to say yes, but if it's intentional, then yes. If it's not, then no. Well, most of the time, you could... If you're going to do a backflip, you should be able to do it with a bow in your hand. I know. Well, that's the thing. I can't do those yet. Um, yeah, those I can do on trampolines and stuff. Yeah. The main idea, though, for those, um, it's just like how with a roll, how you're bringing your body across it. It's really throwing your body into it and trusting. Okay. Yep. Wherever you look, your whole body will follow with your head. Yep. The hardest part, though, of both of those is landing. The jump part is easy. Like, I could do it right now. I could jump, but I'd land on my stomach or something. So, but. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so go ahead and put your bows down, grab a single nunchuck, and I'm going to quickly teach you guys this. Jaden, this will be more of a review for you. Maybe it, it depends. Because you'd have to make it look really good and intentional. Because... Yeah, because usually you don't want to drop the ground. <laughs> well, you'd have to be pretty skilled for that. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and grab a single nunchuck. Grab a single nunchuck, Jane. And then let's do this set again. Okay. Face the front. So for this nunchuck set, it's going to be using your wrist roll. Um, 
except you're also going to do it to the side. Okay. So here, try that. Yep. The whole thing is, though, that you want your hand to be facing this way the whole time. It should never come up. So yeah, you're just bringing it across your hand to the other side. Okay. So here, let's see if you can remember it, Jane. So really quick. So show me another trick here, Jane. So go spin one, two, across. Step back, across. One, two. Step forwards, back and up. Up. Okay. Good. And then you do the same thing on the other side now. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of. But not bad. So, Val, now let's try it. So, show me Nunchuck normal. So, you're going to do first thing you got to learn with this. Show me spin the Nunchuck upside down. And then spin it up, right side up. And now switch from upside down to right side up. So, you're going to go spin upside down, right side up. Okay, you're kind of letting your arm be loose as you're doing this. Because yeah, cause you don't want to end up just being a figure eight because you're actually turning your hand upside down and, in, and right side up. Because the way that you do it, so try this with me, is you're going to go up and down, across. Almost. So you got the first thing, one, up and down. A little bit better. Good. Try one more time. Go one, two. A little bit better. Try the side. Wrist roll, step back. Yep, one, two. And you want it to be upside down right now. Yeah, so that's why when you do this, it should be upside down. Step forward, one, two. And now you just do the same thing, but opposite. Because now you're spinning it reverse, and then you're spinning it this way as well. This one's hard. You kind of got to just get the motion of it. But it's a quick, just one, two, across. And then back up, you're doing your normal wrist roll, except now the only difference is you're doing it opposite. Because normally, you're always going to do your wrist roll this way, but this time instead, your hand's turned on the other side of your body as you're doing it. So now you're just doing it on the other side. Comes up to your shoulder, big way. A little bit better. It's a harder set to learn. It takes a little bit. Like Jaden had already learned his wrist roll. And a couple other things before I taught in this. But it's a fun little set to learn. Because once you get it down, it looks pretty cool. And then you can do it with the other hand as well. With your left. And it looks pretty cool. But not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see, is there still time? What time does class end? All right. Go ahead, put your nunchucks down. There they are. Okay, so I'll let you both, since you guys are first class brown books, you can pick out one thing to use as an obstacle port. You can put it anywhere. Not all of them, maybe a couple. Because you got to clean it up. Yeah. And which ones are the taller ones? These are. Or 
Yeah, get your mask back on. Put your mask on, Santa. Ah, uh, the jump through your feet. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, um, huh? Quick, grab whatever, put it on. One thing. Careful. All right, so since there's three of you guys, everyone come over here. So uh, Savannah, you'll be right here. Val, you'll be right there. Jane, you'll be right here. OK. So you're going to go this way through the little optical course I made. So Jane, you'll be my test dummy, so watch Jane. So <laughs> you're going to jump on the top of this, go big jump over. Jump on, yep. Jump again, jump again. Tight rope walk on top of those, keep your balance. Good, zigzag through. Good, and then go to the end of your line. And then as they're going, you're gonna scoot up to the next marker. So Savannah, scoot up, yep. So everyone go one time through as a practice round, so scoot up, and then we're gonna time you guys. See how fast you guys can go. Uh, all of you. As a team. <laughs> well, you're almost done. Just a little bit. Okay, so scoot up, everyone, onto the next marker. Okay. Yes. So, get ready. Here's your first time of your obstacle course. So as soon as they get to the tightrope thing, the next person goes. All right, and I'll help you along the way. Get ready, and go! So big jump, keep going, Jaden, all the way through. Good, tightrope walk, then now. Good, then scoot up, Savannah. Get ready, go, Savannah, go! And then run to the end of your line. Well, good. Good, and then freeze. Oh, back to your spot, back to your marker. Good, okay. So that's the first one. That one took 20 seconds. So now we're gonna try and get even faster. Okay, let's see if you, can get, if you guys can go faster. Get ready. So as soon as they get to that tightrope thing, next person goes right into it. Ready, and go! Good. Go, Savannah. Good. Then right back to the end of your spot. As fast as you can. Oh! Ooh. 16 seconds. But I think... Huh? You have a, a penguin roll? Yeah. Uh, no, that'd take too much time to set up. Next time. But, last one, best one. I think you guys can go even faster. A high jump? We'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll do something. But try your best. Get ready. And 
Go! Run all the way through. Good. As fast as you can. Go, Savannah. Go! Careful! <laughs> but good. Keep going all the way through. Good. Run! <gasps> Ooh. 15 seconds. One second down. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, you guys. Good job. <laughs> good job, good job. What's up? Can I try and do it? Yeah, what time you? Yeah, what time you? Well, it's not going to be the same because there's one person. You guys are three people. All right. It wasn't for you to fall on it. Okay. Careful. So here. <laughs> yes. This is like the last since we're almost done. So uh, go ahead and go back to your spots. Yeah, that would be nice and high. Okay. Okay. And if you need it. If you need it, if not, just go jump. Or here, I'll put it to the side. Okay, because you can... What do you mean, jump over the whole thing? I want you guys to be safe. Show me what you mean. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought you meant through the... Yeah. Okay, well, go back to your spots. Let's try it again. Um. Um. <laughs> Hold on. You have a running start. And you better just run fast. Okay. That's fine. Well, try it through first once on your own. Go! Good. Then that's the easy part. Go, Val. See, that's the thing. Yeah, keep your balance on those. Keep going! And then... Savannah, use the side. <laughs> well. Because, careful. Keep going. Back up. Good job. Good. So yeah, so you want, these ones are harder than those ones were because these are taller. So they can actually kind of rotate about. Okay. Go another time. Well, I put those there just in case. You can still jump over them. No, they're the same height. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I put...
Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. So here. Yeah. 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 So here, start on the line before you go. You're going to get that start. <laughs> All right. Mm. Okay. Get ready. And go. Good. Go, Savannah. <laughs> I'm impressed that you can get up there. I tried to add the things to the side for you, but that that worked. Then then he'll toll back in your spot. Ooh, twenty six seconds. Twenty six. I'm gonna try for twenty. <laughs> well, let's see. Try and go as fast as you can. Just be careful. Uh, maybe not ten. So get ready. Remember, you gotta come right back to your spot as soon as you're done. And go. Last one, best one. Go, Savannah. Go, Drayden. And then right back in your spot. Oh, oh, oh. 19 seconds. 19. <laughs> Last one. Get ready. Remember, go to the line before you do your running start. And go! So scoot up, Savannah. Go! Scoot up, Jamie. Go! Seventeen. So that's good. Ten, basically ten seconds better than the first one. So are you good? Okay. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. Farther in? That's... What do you mean? Mm -hmm. So I put these. Nice. Oh, God. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think you could yeah, jump on it. Oh, I know, I know, I know. No, that's no, getting a little hard. No. Okay, okay. So, either way. So, for you three. Class is basically almost over. <laughs> and we got to clean up. Okay. So, get everything together. Mm, not right now. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Get the stuff together. Like, get these four bags together, put them in the corner over there. And we'll sanitize. Mm-hmm. Once. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Actually, that's something that's awesome. Quick. All right. Okay. You already did it. No. One. Okay. So you three, go ahead and back in your spots. I got this. Okay. Come on. So. All right. Nah, nah, bah, bah, bah. Come on. Go get your weapons together. It's for the YouTube headset thing. Get your weapons together. And then let's get it. You have your nunchucks up there. Okay, get out of here. Get. Guys, they're all done. Do you want me to end the live stream, sir?